Yeah, roll, roll a six sweet. or fail, you mean? Yeah, but you roll a lot of dice, and then the push roll mechanics. A lot of them. It works great for Forbidden Land. <laughs> Who was it that, had, that in the end had like five stress and was just bombing it bad? Uh, I don't know. Anita and Catherine both made like clutch rolls when they were trying to escape, so. Holy shit, did they? Uh, Anita spending the story point to not die instantly, that was pretty great. Yeah. All right, so uh, here we go. We are live. For anybody that's watching, we're just talking about our alien one shot that we ran yesterday that we streamed and will be up on YouTube like later today. Uh, but to the game at hand, Pathfinder, Kingmaker, uh, session 13 of Kingmaker and 15 overall. Hey. Uh, you guys um, are currently in your capital city in Leighton. Uh, making some plans to head out to one of your lumber camps that has uh, apparently had some issues with, uh, with a water ferry of some nature, a naiad perhaps. Um, and in your capital there is, a, uh, there is a gentleman who's been basically talking shit about you, uh, riling up the people. Uh, not actually doing anything illegal, uh, but being a, uh, a pretty, a pretty big... mighty nuisance being a pretty big nuisance uh snow maple did a little bit of uh uh extracurricular exploring left an open threat yep left a left an open threat uh found out that he seems to be from uh from the neighboring and uh country of patox at least that's what he'd have us believe uh, or at least that's what his paperwork indicates uh, there was enough indications in the paperwork for her to determine that he is not uh he's not new to this he is uh he's definitely got some experience in this sort of clandestine behavior he's a professional jack he is a professional asshole uh but you guys are uh are in the capital getting ready to uh, make way for your uh for your lumber camp um Making some, uh, making some plans for uh, Grigori just in case. Calling in uh, Valerie and a couple of the warders to kind of keep an eye on things so nothing gets escalated. Uh, and I believe asking Lindsay to uh, to do some PR for you guys while you are out uh, doing things. She is the PR champ. I'm pretty sure what we said was like counter all of his points at every chance you can with everything you know. Yeah. I believe your instructions were for her to uh, to not actually like lie, but to to otherwise. Yeah. Let's like, let's be honest. Lindsay's going to be herself. She's going to do oh, great. Absolutely. Um, she she may not fully lie, but there might be an embellishment here or there. She <laughs> she is very good at embellishing. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but, uh, other than that, is there anything folks wanted to do in Leighton before heading out? Um, I wanted to pick up a few spell scrolls and um, just some extra mundane ammunition. Uh, then I'm going to toss in the party loot. Uh, perfect. Absolutely, you can do that. What, uh, what spells did you want to pick up? Um... There was a list of them that I don't have on my phone anymore. Um, but I wanted two scrolls of invisible item. Um, and two scrolls of soothe. And I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. Got him. 
Sweet. I'll uh, mark off all my gold, but that's all I'm getting. Okay. Perfect. Uh, anything else? Nothing for me. Nothing here. All right. Perfect. All right. So you guys know that the um, the the lumber camp in the green belt uh, green belt lumber camp um, is not the one that's being harassed by the naiad. It's past that. It's not. You guys don't have an actual camp set up there yet. But the lumberjacks have kind of gone that far. Uh, so you're looking at uh, assuming you don't uh, you don't dilly dally and and stop to rest or anything. You're looking at probably about two days through the woods. Yeah, I mean, we might as well do some recon while we're out there. Yeah, but uh, probably won't take the uh, slightly lazier route that we initially planned. Okay. So you're basically just heading kind of due west? Yeah, we're aiming for just west of Greenville, right? Yeah. I think that's probably best, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's right where the river starts to, to, to bend. I mean, it'd be nice to get some extra hexes, but with that bard there, we can't Wait. screw it around, right? Does this river flow to or from Leighton? Uh, it flows uh, to Leighton. Okay, gotcha. And basically uh, empties out into the tusk water. Cool. I think all the nearby rivers flow towards the lake, don't they? They do. That's potentially dangerous. Yeah. Well, it's convenient for your lumber camps because you can just float the logs down, right? So, uh, the first day, first day of travel to your, to your lumber camp is quiet and uneventful. Um, as you get to the, uh, the Greenbelt lumber camp towards the evening, um, you know, you can definitely see like your investment is is working. The loggers are working. There's a there's an area that has been cut down. Uh, true to uh, the agreements that have been made, um, when they take down trees, they do plant new ones, uh, doing like sustainable forestry, uh, taking only trees that are that are earmarked and so on and so forth. Uh, the camp itself definitely like they they welcome you in. They you know they're expecting that there's some sort of like inspection or something so the the camp foreman makes sure everything is you know tip top uh operational order um but other than that everything here seems fine uh but this is where the uh the lumberjacks that have been having problems with the uh with the water spirit came from so might be worth asking around for yeah. you know any witnesses or yeah, tell us about uh, what happened to the fellows that are missing, uh, or people that are missing, and uh, and who they might be, and, and and how long they've been gone, that kind of thing. Right. Uh, so you ask around, and finally, like you find the the foreman. He's like, uh, yeah, some of the uh, Corax Corax took a crew out there, uh, seeing you know, seeing if we can maybe expand operations. Uh, Found some really like like really nice like orc uh, oak grove. Um, you know, marked some of the trees, uh, planted new ones, chopped them down, and that's when uh, that's when this creature came out of the out of the pond, out of the, the the river, saying, "You know, how dare we trespass on her land?" Uh, and wasn't uh, didn't seem to be willing to. Uh, to converse. Uh, swept two of the men away in a tidal wave that she summoned. Uh, Korax and his men retreated. Uh, but she cast some sort of magic. Uh, and a couple of the a couple of the fellows just kind of decided to hang around. Um, I mean... Korax and, uh, Korax and uh, a couple of his boys are still out there trying to uh, trying to figure shit out, but uh, it's not good. I mean, she's holding our people hostage. 
Right. Uh, we we'll go deal with that. Is there a lore roll or something like that? Is this normal behavior for this kind of fae? Uh, it would actually be a nature roll. Actually, it's a it's a recall knowledge, but uh, I don't. Well, think I think it's safe to say that they're fairly on a recall knowledge. Yeah, we learned that before. Um, so yeah, so most uh, most spirits of this type, if they're tied to a, a natural phenomena for uh, Father Hall and Snow Maple, um, they're usually like tied to something. It, it's weird to have a uh, a water spirit that's concerned about the trees. Uh, normally, normally like water fae would be much more concerned about you know their particular body of water being polluted. Uh, they really wouldn't care terribly about the trees. Uh, which leads you to indicate that perhaps it's not actually a nymph. Perhaps it's some other water-based fae. A dryad, maybe. A uh, dryad wouldn't come out of the water. They'd come out of the trees. They would come out of the trees. Right. And they'd be they'd be super pissed. Big time. Yeah. Well, we do have a little bit of a conundrum because we don't technically own that piece of ground, right? We never claimed it. I don't think of I don't think a fairy is likely to care about you know <laughs> paperwork in a different country. Yeah, we'll lie it on a map. I don't think that's likely to matter. Well, certainly not. But I mean, obviously, we have to rescue our people. Yeah, we have to come to some sort of arrangement. Agreed. Preferably an arrangement, as opposed to an execution. Uh, I Burbly. didn't say anything about an execution. I'm just talking out loud. Well, as of right now, we don't know that anybody's been killed, so... Yeah, let's let's uh, let's head out there before uh, something like that happens. Agreed. Mm-hmm. This one's in your wheelhouse, Traxton, so hopefully you'll be able to talk to her. Um, hmm. So when you say that, he looks at you and he's like, why Why do you say it's in my wheelhouse? And he's like looking side-eyed at the professor more so than making eye contact with you at the moment, but... Because um, you have the plant friend? Figured you'd know more about Fey stuff than the rest of us. But yeah, he just figures you're more liable to be in touch with nature spirits, that kind of thing. All right. Because all plant friends know each other, right? I mean, that's exactly correct. I think at this moment, Sprig is out of my collar and also paying attention to what's going on, and we just look at each other and we just sort of shrug. It's like, okay, I, I, I can give it a try, but I don't speak... What was it, Professor Sylvan? I, I can't do that, so... It'll be charades. Yeah, or and... Or we uh, can have the Professor do it. For uh, the Snow Maple and Father Hall, because of your... Um, your recall knowledges, <clears throat> they're water-based. Probably, they definitely speak Sylvan, that's like the Fey language, but also probably Aquan. Mm-hmm. Um... There's a chance uh, that they might speak common as well. Well, yeah, it's, it, it seemed like they were conversing with the with yep. the uh, lumberjacks. So yes, I'm just guessing they speak Fey anyway, or Sylvan. Sorry. Yep. I don't know. Do we have a lot of multilingual lumberjacks? Is that a thing? Uh, they they speak like you know the common tongue and various human languages. You know the ones that are human or dwarven or whatever would speak that language, but not a, not a, not a lot of like polyglots amongst the lumberjacking community. They were no, probably lucky if they could read. It's not something they're known for. No. N no. Okay. Two languages is probably the best you're gonna. I mean, for your average person, two languages is pretty good. Agreed. All right. So are you guys staying overnight at the lumber camp, or are you heading out? Uh, at night time. Well, how far? How far is it? Is it an? Is it another day's travel? 
uh, it's you figure another day of like traveling there and like looking around to find exactly where this uh, where this incident along the river is. Mm. Well, there's no good getting there exhausted. Yeah, yeah no more road, it would be so. better. I would mm -hmm. think. So yeah, we we might as well stay at the the lumber camp for the night. Uh, and yeah, the lumberjacks put you up. They have like, the you know, food and food and ale. Uh, they have bunks for you. You know, all of the the uh, perks that come with being the the rulers. The uh, the foreman gives up his uh, basically his kind of private bunk house so that you guys can all basically bunk out there instead of in the common dormitory with everybody else. Uh, and they're Flower, pretty. Flowers pretty... sleep in the common dormitory. All right. Uh, and they're a pretty, pretty genial bunch. Uh, they don't seem to, they don't seem to neither know, like, know about nor care about, you know, the, the shit that's being talked about you back in the capital. You know, as far as they're concerned, you know, their people are missing. You guys came out here to, to help look for them, you know, share the fire, share the, share the beans and wieners. And, uh, basically they... down, down to earth, blue collar type people. In the, in the morning, is there one of those jaunty, uh, like, flapjack, lumberjack songs? Uh, as they're all getting ready for work, there there's not a song, but there is, uh, there is, like, flapjacks and, like, fried bread and stuff for breakfast. You know, a good hearty breakfast before a day's work sort of thing. Excellent. Oh, I wanted to hear the log driver's people. waltz. <laughs> this is the experience I came for. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no log, uh, log driver's vaults now. All right. For the Flower Canadians. Would just be like spending his time overseeing, like over, overseeing the, the, the team until um, we hit it. All right. Before we go to, to sleep that night, I think Traxton takes a walk around just to have a look, um, at what's going on here, the practices and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, and they are they are doing everything uh, the way that you guys have requested. They are, you know, they're making sure that, you know, for every tree they take, they plant two more sort of thing. Right, right. Um, and they uh, they're they're fairly industrious for for a lumber camp. They're uh, they're fairly like tidy, for lack of a better term. Uh, you know, they uh, you know, they kind of like. Take you like reuse their sawdust for like you know starting their fires and everything like that. They're they're making sure that they do everything the way that they're supposed to. You don't know whether it's because they truly believe in you know better better lumber practices or whether they're afraid of what might happen if they don't. Uh, but they are uh, they are doing what they're supposed to. So I'm looking around. There's no OSHA violations going on anywhere here. Uh, no. Stuff. Good. Um, and uh, actually, if, if Flower shows an interest, they will take you, and they'll basically they'll show you like their, like their their basically their milling practice, because so, like, they they trim down the logs before they ship them down river. So they'll show him all the bells and whistles of all of the different things, and you know they're they're quite proud of their little encampment, really. Yeah, he he he'll definitely like go for go for the tour kind of deal. Um, the entire time, like. He, He'll be like asking engaging questions, and um, he's also like every every time he sees something like up to snuff, he gives like a like a satisfied like little nod. He goes, "I knew we put you. I I I, I knew we picked the perfect team for this." Perfect. And uh, Moot Punk kind of documents everything, uh, like a, as a journal, like a history book of the early days of our settlement. He's been doing that all along. Excellent. Um, and as you guys kind of make your way around the camp and, you know, have meals with them, you do notice like a couple of the a couple of the bandits that you kind of like drove off and said, like, rethink your life choices, you know, like a year or so ago. You see a couple of them here in the camp. That's great. Mm. Good. Um, Snow Maple's just glad that they seem happy with the work that they're doing. That's that's the most important thing. Something to be proud in is uh, proud of is always always a better alternative any any of sorry any of those individuals that Traxon comes across he doesn't 
make any vocal recognition, but he ma maintains eye contact, like uncomfortable eye contact with them until <laughs> he, he feels like that they, you know, know who he is and he knows who they are and he just nods. All right. Perfect. Did they, uh, they, after like, you know, in the morning they, they give Traxon a, a wide berth. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it does seem like some of the folks that you have tried to set on the on the path of, uh, you know, community service are mm -hmm. actually, you know, working a legitimate job. I can almost hear the Clint Eastwood whistle, uh, spaghetti western noise in the background there. Yeah. But in a pro tinge of approval at the end. Oh, is that what it was? I, I thought yep. it was just flirting with him, that's all. No, it was no threat or anything else of that variety or other. Uh, and then, yes, after a, a morning breakfast of, like, some sausages and some pancakes and some eggs, uh, you guys set off. Uh, probably just following the river is going to be your easiest way, since uh, apparently along the river is where it happened. Yeah, why make it complicated? We're not trying to sneak up on anybody. I, th I think if we were trying to sneak up on this being, it would be a detriment. Again, big words for Flower that he probably doesn't understand. I mean, it's not like you can sneak up on a river. It's... If you can sneak up on a river, that that's that is absolutely flabbergasting. Um, so yeah, so you oh. guys head out following the river. Uh, it's a mm -hmm. it's a pleasant walk. It's uh, it's a sunny day. Uh, it's uh, like late spring. Uh, the, you know, the, the river is, uh, you know, team of life. You guys see some, some fish, including some like fairly large, like, um, like river trout and the like, uh, it's peaceful, kind of calm. Oh, so the, the river appears healthy, right? The, ri no, the river no is very healthy. Or okay, good. Yeah. The river, yeah. the river is very healthy. Uh, almost, uh, almost preternaturally healthy. Well, that's that's what you'd expect, right? Uh, it definitely indicates that there's uh, there's definitely something that is uh, enhancing the like the the fish and the frogs and the various assorted river denizens. Oh, okay. Like periodically, you see like a couple of like kind of like bulbous eyes watching you from like you know the body underwater, the two bulbous frog eyes on top, and you go like. That frog's got to be about the size of a horse. Oh. Oh, that's more. That's more disconcerting. Is that not? Well, is that not how big they usually are? No, nope. frogs eat pretty much anything too. They're pretty scary. Uh, if if they can fit it in their mouth, they'll eat it. Watch out! Yeah, they can open their mouths real wide. Yeah, yeah. they can. Well, they're still, but they're usually very, very small. No, oh. sit in your hand, not sit on top of them. Agreed. These, these ones are decidedly more healthy, I guess. Well, we have seen large animals before. And there doesn't seem to be any, any degradation along the banks of the river. Like there, there, uh, there's no, no missing trees or... Uh, no, there's not. And, uh, you know, the... the... Uh, the cattails and the, the bulrushes and everything are like healthy and vibrant. There's a bunch of like milkweed. There's butterflies. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very very pristine looking. Because if there was if there was a chance of uh, you know uh, deforestation causing an erosion in the the bank of the river, that would be that could be concerning uh, for a river denizen, I suppose. Uh, and after probably around lunchtime, you kind of come to where the, the river kind of widens out, uh, kind of branches off a little bit. There's like a little kind of pond in the center. And you do see there's like a little uh, encampment kind of on the banks. Uh, a couple of like the, the, the loggers from the, the, the camp set up a little camp, like a little sub camp here. It's probably uh, not the best choice. Mm. And out in the, out in the pond, there seems to be a uh, 
a very beautiful kind of blue skinned woman kind of like just you know swimming along a couple of a uh, oh. couple of the uh lumberjacks in the in the pond kind of swimming along with her playing squirting one another with like water from their hands laughing giggling oh having a beach day having a beach day yeah i think the problem comes when it's like you know 10 years later and they're they've, they've that's all they've been doing you know agreed Groundhog Beach Day. Yeah. And uh, one of the lumberjacks, as you guys approach, one of the lumberjacks kind of like holds up his hand. Yeah. H hello. Yep. Hello. Oh, uh. You come to, uh. To deal with this, uh, this, uh, problem? I mean, problem's a strong word. We, we've, we've come to see if we can help. I don't know if we have a problem, yeah. It's like, you know, he kind of gestures vaguely out at, you know, the two lumberjacks and the uh, the, the blue-skinned woman kind of like frolicking in the in the lake. It's like, mm, there's a bit of a problem. Oh, okay. These gentlemen don't seem to be in a daze at all. They're like concernedly watching what's going on, or the, the um, ones on the beach. The ones yeah. on the the ones on the beach seem to be fine. Right. right. Okay. Gotcha. I was thinking they were the ones that were um, magicked or whatever and not swept away. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I hope these guys gotcha. are not on salary, and rather get paid by the hour. Yeah. How long has this been going on? Uh, probably better part of a week now. She, do uh, they do they still come out of the water to like eat and stuff, or is it is it frolicking twenty four seven? Uh, no, it's uh pretty much playing out there all the time. Sometimes they go underwater for quite a while and then come back. Right, that seems troubling. Should should we see if we can draw her over to to say hi? Sure. Um, is there a check involved to try and determine if this pond that she's in is a, a new occurrence? Uh, it'd be nature roll. Okay. I'll be pinging with detect magic, of course. I can hit my rest button, right? Get all my spells polished back. Uh, yes, and then decide if you want to put any charges into your staff. Of course. Uh, Truxy, you take a look, and it's it, it's natural. Um, it's sorry, it's naturally occurring, uh, mm -hmm. but the vibrancy of the plant life and the uh, and the the fauna and everything around is definitely more than natural. Maybe okay. even super natural. Am, am I getting the same vibe as I was from what we've encountered before, the seeds and vines and things, or is it... So... Uh, it it's similar. Basically, it's a very, very healthy, very robust uh, biosphere. Right. But things I'm seeing around here, I, I recognize, though, right? Is that, is that safe to say? Like, I, I see... Yeah, you don't see any unnatural plants or anything. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Like, so yeah, she uh, seemed to take offense when we uh, harvested some of the the nearby trees. Uh, said that uh, you know we didn't have the we didn't have the right to them. We didn't ask any permission. Well, how how could you have known? That's what we said, and uh, I mean. Honestly, I probably said some things that I shouldn't have. Right. Uh, maybe let let us take the lead on this for a, a little bit. Um, uh, 
Agreed. Uh, yeah. Just before we get going here, let me. Uh, I'm gonna do a thing. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna just put this armor away into a different plane of existence for a second. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's an armor I'm gonna cast. It takes ten minutes. So. Okay. Um, and uh, mood point during uh, during the time here, there's there's no there's no magic you're not aware of within thirty feet. Okay. Um, I forgot I had this, but you are an ally within range can attempt skill checks to recall knowledge uh, from lore master's etude or whatever you pronounce that. Yep. It's a spell that basically buffs your uh, recall knowledge. Okay. Uh, D20 plus 6, it looks like. Yep. So, yeah, so basically it's a it's a reaction spell that you can cast, which basically means... Is it a reaction? Cool. No, it's free. Uh, so you or an ally is trying to make recall knowledge, and it basically gives them advantage. They get to roll twice and use the better result. Ooh. Yeah, so people remember that. Okay, so, but it is a it is a focus spell, so you can cast it like once every ten minutes. All right. Well, once the once the father's uh, got his uh, uh, junk squared away, uh, we'll see if we can call her over. That that takes ten minutes, though, right? That spell. It does. Yeah. Okay, so while this ten minutes is going on, is does the face seem to pay much attention to us? Um, she looks over at you and she kind of like waves and kind of like motions for you to join her. Right. I'm thinking about joining her. Won't be doing that. It looks like fun. It's not a good idea. Well, it's a good idea. One of us to try it, see what's going on. No, not really. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm fine to wait. Um, wait, and we'll just discuss. Uh, can discuss like what um, what we want to do here. I'll tell you what. Moot point will go and sit cross-legged by the water, but not in the water, and uh, wave back and look uh, look like uh, he's enjoying watching these people have fun. How's your language skills? In case she does come over to talk. Uh, don't don't even know. Uh, let's see. Probably not super great, but I don't see where they are, so. Oh. Uh, languages should be on your... Very oh, first, first page. Tab. Yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, Aklo, Common, Fey, Halfling, Infernal. That's what I got. Oh, well, you got a few. You're good. You might be. I don't know what Aklo is, but... Uh, Isn't that the one for uh, Dark Fae? Uh, Dark Fae and some underground dwellers. Mm. Okay, so I got Fae and Dark Fae. That's good. Right. And Infernal. Uh, while Moopint is, is moseying towards the shore, uh, Traxton's just going to mention to... Is it Corax is the one speaking? Yes. Okay. I'm going to mention to him it's probably a good idea if, if they back, a, back up a little bit. Um, away from the situation in case the the Fae decides they want to get um, militant. Yes. And, he, and he would he would just say something like um, you probably want to move a little bit out of range if, if she can magic people. Oh, so you can definitely do that. Uh, swept a couple of my men away. Uh, tidal wave came right out of the pond. Watched them. Uh, ain't seen them since. Hmm. Oh, so that's a different couple of guys than those two guys. Just watch yourselves. His indication is those are a couple of like different people. Oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, two people are definitely missing and unaccounted for. All right, that's good to know. Uh, but they, uh, they will they'll back away. They'll be like, okay, you know, the, the, the bosses are here. They'll handle this. Um, awesome. But as uh, as Moot Point makes his way to the uh, the edge of the shore, she does swim closer. She's still about twenty feet or so away from the uh, away from the shoreline. Kind of pokes her pokes her head up. She's like you know from shoulders down underneath the water. She just kind of looks. Right. Says, huh? What kind of creature are you? 
Uh, is my vo- inner voice saying anything? Uh, no, it's not. I'm a halfling. What kind of creature are you? And what language is she speaking in? Uh, she speaks in common. Okay, I'll speak in common. Excellent. We, so we've I'll even answer. Actually, I'll, I'll answer in fey. I'm a halfling. We've already overcome the language barrier. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. Uh, and so she'll, uh, so she did ask in common. Right, but I answered in fey. Yeah. Did she understand? She does. She goes, oh, a half of oh, awesome. Half of what? Half insane. People tell me, and I giggle a little bit. Oh, it's okay. Do you want to... Do you want to join us? It's fun. No, no. I'm, I hear that they've been in there for a week, and oh, jeez, I love fun, but I got responsibilities. Hmm. Responsibilities are overrated. And boring. tell me about it. Tell me about it. But these are good responsibilities. These ones are uh, are uh, writing in my book about all the the cool things I see, so people can read them after I'm dead. Reading is boring too. Yeah, but writing is fun, and drawing is fun. And uh, and we're we're uh, trying to make sure everybody's happy and everybody's uh, uh, lives the kind of lives in this area that they're they they want to live. That nobody uh, nobody gets hurt, and nobody gets injured, and nobody takes anything from that doesn't belong to them. That's very true. People should not take things that don't belong to them. Is not, that what these people did? Not without paying. Yes, they oh. did. What do they owe you? Trees. Ooh. How many trees? Like planting trees? Three. They owe you three trees. They plant three trees? They can go home? Those people. And she kind of spits the word. They took trees that were over two centuries old. Trees that deserve better than being some peasant shop table. You're not wrong there. That is terrible. I think more than three tree planting more than three trees is is not uh, three trees wouldn't cut it. Three trees has to be it has to be better than three trees. Three trees are fine. Three trees is what they took. Three trees is what I want back. Uh, any particular kind of tree? Mm, oak trees. Oak trees. Ooh. Do, uh, three 200-year-old oak trees for three new trees. Three new planted trees? Is that what you're asking for? But that'll do, and I'll just hang on to these people until, for 200 years. until the trees are grown. That's fair. I see. I don't know, but these people don't live that long. Hmm. I'll have to get some more then. Well, is there another deal we can make so we could have these people back? Because I really need, I have work for them to do. Trust me, the work I'm going to make them do is pretty good punishment. I'm going to make them plant trees. For years. Nothing Mm -hmm. but planting trees, these people, for doing what they did. Nope. I want my trees back. All right. Uh, let me see if I can talk to my friends. Some of them are smarter than me. Maybe they can uh, think of a way to do this. That makes everybody happy. Okay. All and right. She, and she kind of like, kind of like, does like the little kind of like dolphin dive where she kind of comes up out of the water and knocks under. Uh, enough for you to see that she's not terribly big. She's like a, you know. She is definitely not a naiad. Can I make a, a knowledge to see what she is? You can. She never did tell me what she was, was she, did she? She did not. And where is this uh, recall knowledge? Uh... It should be down on your on your uh, hot bar. There should be a recall knowledge button. Number two. That's number four. Oh, you got more buttons than I do. Well, he's a caster, so he has a few more options. Uh... So I'll click that, and it says Moot Pant tries to remember if they've heard something. Yeah, because it comes up as a secret role. 
Oh, okay. So I get a plus six to that or, or for my bonus there, right? Yeah, it's already included in. Okay. All right. So you're... I'll take the first roll because I think I clicked it three times. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she is not a naiad. She is, in fact, according, like, as, as she kind of, like, jumps out of the water. Um, and I'll show you a picture of her. Oh, okay. That's uh, sexiest Morlock, uh, Murloc or whatever that thing in uh, Warcraft was yeah. that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she is, in fact, a Nixie. Oh, a Nixie. I haven't heard that word in a long time. All right. Well, I'll go back to the group. And uh, the, my half the conversation was all in Fey, so I'll explain in common everything that just happened. Your entire conversation was in Fey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, what do we know about Nixies? Do they like anything in particular? Uh, recall knowledge. All right. What's what is that? It, like what skill? Uh, if you just hit, you should have a recall knowledge button. That'll roll it for you. Oh, I haven't gone anywhere near that yet. Should, should be the recall skills. knowledge. It looks like a cross between a gremlin and a catfish. Kind of. It's about the size of a small child. Ah. Uh. Oh, I think yeah, you, had, it. You, you had Gratch selected. Gratch tried to remember things. Gratch was like, Wah. Yeah, I just clicked <laughs> it. My concern is if she's uh, an immature sort of fae, then we might have trouble getting her to be reasonable. I did the same thing, and I saw the same sort of message, but nothing else. Yeah, it's, yeah it, it comes up as a secret check. Oh, okay. Goes to the dungeon master. Uh, and it's real secret because, like, nothing happened in the chat either. It didn't tell me I was rolling secretly or. Yeah, super secret. Yeah. It's super secret, secret double probation. Uh, that's also something. To yeah. Sorry, that's also something Traxton would say to the group too when we're having this discussion: is what, what do we know about Nixies? What do they like? So. All right. So, uh, so Traxton, you're aware that um, Nixies are, uh, they are f like Fey guardians of ponds, rivers, lakes, springs, and the area around them. Uh, they're not tied to the natural. Uh, thing like the way that uh, the way that a nymph is, so like they're not tied the same way a naiad or a dryad would be, but they are protectors of the area. Uh, and the trick is to uh, display a certain amount of humility and easygoingness. Uh, they tend to respond positively to such things and negatively to uh, negative emotions and threats. They generally only resort to violence uh, if necessary. Uh, but they and, are. And, uh, and Korax said that he 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 was a little abrasive towards her. He did. Yeah. yeah so that could that could be the source of the problem. Uh, and other than that, they are um, they are they are spellcasters like many fey. Okay. So the more even approach is 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 the only way really to make any sort of headway with these things. Right, like like show some respect, basically. Mm hmm Gotcha. All right. Well, we're off to a good start up up until this point, anyway. I hate let everybody know um, all that stuff too. They believe that they 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 guard the area. They they're not. Their life isn't tied to it. If if bad things happen here, it's not going to hurt our friend in the pond, but. Um, they're definitely concerned with what's going to happen in this area. Well, they they want their trees back. We can't really do that. Um, Not mature trees, no. No. Um, but we are going to need those people back. 
Uh, do true. you suppose there's any any way that we can get her to uh, exchange them for uh, say a like a some kind of border agreement that uh, you know we will we will come this far and no further sort of thing. And an I think that should be part of it. Rex. Sure. Maybe a also apology from Corex. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th that's fine. Yeah, we, we can do that. We can add that on top. But mm. in relation to a resolution to the situation, um, just real quick, because I don't really remember the 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 river goes right by the the logging camp, right? Yes, it does. Okay, maybe we can maybe we can show her how we handle things we can bring her down the river a bit and show her the the logging camp and she might understand that we're not here to destroy everything just use what we need and and replace um what we take it so, might be an interesting novelty hmm. just to show her that we're guard, uh, kind of guardians as well if it comes to that i'm just thinking um Let's perhaps... make sure that we're not cutting down any more 200 year old trees at the first though right we perhaps, don't want to see any big stumps there. Well, yeah, perhaps an offer of also like sending people to tend to the trees that we plant. Right. You know. But we also can point out to her too as, as well that these these men are are trained. They they don't take two hundred year old completely healthy trees. Like that's that's not a thing that I I've taught anyone to do. So we can we can definitely show her. Um, how uh, things are managed. Thinning the forest helps all the trees grow more healthy, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's make sh let's make sure that we know that we haven't cut down any more two hundred year old trees before we show. I them. mean, we probably have, but um, we, they're the best trees. We definitely have the ones that needed yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. It's all part of it. I I mean if. This thing is going to be upset about us cutting trees, regardless. We we need well, to cut maybe, trees. Maybe uh, that's something we need to establish, right? I, I, yeah, if it's a, a a smaller scale or a wider like it, we won't won't introduce the wider scale notion just yet, but we need to determine like exactly how uh, how much they see as their domain. I think first, right. Is it is it just around this river? Is it as far as you can travel in a day up and down? Like Yeah. I'm not against getting our people back in exchange for this thing having what domain over this lake and the area around it. That's fine mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. But we're getting those people back. As and long as they she doesn't agree, we'll do it the hard way. Absolutely. As long as as long as she agrees that anyone that comes into this area, as long as they're respectful, will cause no pro will have no problems. She can be allowed to exist. All right. Well, let's let's see if we can uh, call her over and, and and have a talk with all of us. Right. Mm -hmm. I think I think we stick with common this time. Sure. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. You're up, Prof. Yeah, I'll walk over to Prof and make the introduction. Yeah, I'll I'll introduce myself. I'll. Uh... D does she seem like she responds to Common? She does, and actually, she uh, she will say, "Oh, um, Professor is a funny name. My name is Milliance." Yes, well, you know. Unfortunately, I don't know how it is for you, but we don't get to pick our own names. Oh, I chose mine. Interesting. I guess, in a sort of way, I chose mine as well. Um. So, um, I you know don't know what uh, what our good friend here was was talking to you about, but we will need um, our people back. We're sort of you know supposed to be protecting them. Uh, it looked kind of bad if we didn't bring them home. I'm sure you know how it is. Mm, nope, I don't. 
Well, you know, when you're when you're protecting something, and then you know something bad happens to what you're protecting, people will start to question if you can protect it or not. And then you replace it. That's true. That's true. Um, unfortunately, as much as we would be able to replace these people, they've got like families and things that aren't going to want them necessarily replaced. Have you ever had like a like a favorite river rock that you just never wanted to give up? Her eyes kind of narrow, and she's like, "No." <laughs> oh, why? What well, have you the- heard? <laughs> It's it's quite a bit like that. Well, I uh, I will let them go when my trees are replaced. Well, we currently have people working to to replace your trees uh, as we speak. Um, if you like, we can uh, give you a little a tour of our our lumber yard. Um, show you that everything we we take down is set up to be replaced so that everything around it can go can grow stronger together. I've seen it. I swam by. Um, the the uh, unpleasant fellow uh, over there. Um, Correct. He said that... he was going to nail me to a tree and let me drip dry. Right. He he's been, he's been uh, admonished for his uh, impoliteness. Um. And, uh, you know, uh, I was curious what, uh, what may have happened to the, to the two folks, uh, who were swept away. Uh, are they all right? Mm. They're sleeping. S- sleeping, uh, the forever sleep? They tried to attack me with an axe. Right, I understand, and you're you're understandably upset about that. I'm I'm just uh, I'm just curious. So you've killed two of our people. They tried to attack me with an axe. You killed two of our people. And well, that's 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 uh, maybe not the the focus. The the important thing is that. Uh, these two people uh, are unfortunately dead. I didn't uh, kill was... them. Right. Not I didn't my, say it. I didn't not say my fault that humans can't breathe water. That is uh, an unfortunate uh, truth. I'm just thinking that she owes us two people. Well, you know, a couple of trees were cut down and a couple of people died. Um, that seems like uh, an unfortunate misunderstanding on both parts, right? Mm-hmm. Perhaps we can agree to uh, forgive and forget, and uh, maybe establish uh, some boundaries to the area that you protect, so that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Does that sound Does that sound uh, nice to you, uh, Melisande? Uh Go ahead and give me a diplomacy roll. Add in a heartfelt apology from Korax over here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The rule, the rule of fair exchange and all. Oh, there's no active encounter. All right, where do you find it? Around look here's around something. for a tree to nail her to. And I hey. think, I, and I think I say it so that like Korax hears me say it too. Oh, it's a great start. Um. I've got a hero point. Let's try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, All right. I, I, um. So she kind of contemplates for a second. She's like, as long as they don't cut any more trees in my grove, I won't kill anybody else. Okay. And I would, and I will show them where my grove is. I will show you where my grove is. Excellent. That sounds nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now uh, about the these two folks that you seem to to have in in your sway. When my trees are replaced, I'll let them go. How about uh, a slightly uh, slightly altered version of that? Um, how about um, 
you you let those those people go and we occasionally send someone out maybe once or twice a week to to make sure that your trees are coming along nicely and maybe frolic with you for a little while and then come back to the camp i don't need people to check my trees if people don't cut them down and she kind of right, shouts right, right at korax yeah i know i understand uh uh harsh words were uh exchanged and that's that's really unfortunate um but i think in order to move forward uh we need to to try and get past that i'll let them go when the trees are half grown they're they're the problem is they're just really so fragile um they're 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 not they're not made for the water they're not gonna they're not gonna last um and and if they don't last then you know then they will have unfortunately died and and that will be a bigger problem Hmm. Do you ever play with something like so hard that it just like dies? At least twice, as far as I can tell. Yeah, that sounds like self defense to me. You don't want to risk your life. You shouldn't attack people with axes. It's true. Um, again, uh, m mistakes were made. Um, uh, You've gone. You can understand they were experiencing fear. It was really more know, anger. They didn't, well, they didn't know what they were dealing with, who they were dealing with. It's true. Hmm. But when I'm angry, I don't attack people with axes. Yeah, but that's because you're uh, an awesome little fairy person that has oh. magic and such. Thank you. There are, there are small minds that exist. Unfortunately, you run across them. Uh, they, and, they, they don't have magic and such. They're just little, weak little humans. And um, when you when you flatter her, she actually kind of like raises up like on a like a crust or a wave that forms on her feet and kind of does like a little curtsy. Yeah, so they don't they don't have fancy water magic. They have axes, you know? crude hmm. um well maybe if they had magic they could fix my trees that's true that's true and um in time we might actually uh have some people with some magic that can fix your trees a little faster um and we'll definitely we'll definitely send that kind of person here uh when we when we have that capability but for now we're, we're just doing the best with what we got absolutely we will they could do it like Teresa does Teresa just makes trees uh, who's this now? Teresa, the Dryad. She lives that way, and she kind of points up to the northwest. Oh. Well, there's more of them. She sounds amazing. She sounds like we could use her help. Could she help you help us make those trees grow faster? Maybe. She has like these magic feathers that she got from a magic bird that when she puts it in the ground, boom, a tree. That's gotcha. pretty cool. Mm. Um, is she is she nice? Um, I think when so. She, when she when she pointed that way, did she point like towards the like the direction that the swamp is potentially in? Uh, no, she pointed uh, almost directly northwest of where she is. Okay. Actually, sorry, directly west of where she is. Ah. Uh. All right. Um, how about this? Um, why don't you let those two uh, people go? Uh, Corax and his fellows will come and apologize to you for disturbing your uh, grove. And uh, you can let us know exactly what boundaries you would like for your grove. And then we uh, will send them back to the to the camp. They'll leave this this little camp behind. Right, and and then we'll go back to the, to the. We'll send them back to the main camp, 
and uh, then we'll go and visit uh, this uh, Teresa the Dryad and see if we can get her to, to help your trees grow faster. All I can make is water. Moot, pump, moot Pint mumbles that under his, kinda under his breath, but audible. Moot Pint has a little magic, too. I can make water. And she, like, waves her hand and, like, a little, like, spout of water pops up. Oh, that's great. I, uh, I do the same with my staff. Ah. It's a cantrip. Yep. In the air, and the water drops down to the two guys playing in the water. She kind of, like, lets out a like, like, little, like, shriek of happiness and claps her hands. Kind of swims around. All I can do is throw rocks around. Not my river rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, they nailed it. <laughs> maybe a little too close to home on that one. I don't know. We got you. <laughs> right. um, and I will get uh, anybody who's trained in Arcana or nature can give me a roll. A little crazy sure, thing. if a flower just rolled right now. <laughs> yeah, I've got nature. While we're standing there, too, talking, you didn't mention got... anything about the bodies, did you? No. I got both, but I scored a natural one. Ugh, balls. We didn't We didn't ask for the bodies back, did we, Don? No. Um... Okay, so so Sprig flies over to you oh. and just touches you, and she, she reminds you of the fact that we probably should get the bodies to bring back. Or try. Sorry, Professor scored the natural one. Yep. Uh, but... I did okay. Boot point. Uh, you are aware that there is um, basically a fairly common item called the feather token, uh, which you know you put it on the ground it makes a variety of things. It can make like an anchor, it can make a ladder. There is one that makes trees. Nice. Commonly available, you could probably buy one at the general store in Layton, or three. Goddamn. Well, that sounds pretty easy then. Or you could go talk to the dryad. Yeah, that was, which one's closer? The Dryad, right? The Dryad is closer. I'd kind moment. of like to meet a Dryad. We should know the people in our neighborhood anyway, right? We should. we got to make sure we don't cut down any of her trees. But uh, Melian's will kind of look just like, I will, I'll keep them until my trees are done. And she kind of like, kind of like crosses her arms in that kind of like defiant childlike stance. Well, um, perhaps, uh, perhaps we could, uh, tend to their uh, care and maintenance a bit. Uh, they probably, you know, they need to be fed. They ate. Um, did they? Hmm. We had fish. Okay. Uh, they do need some time out of the water. Mm, they are getting wrinkly. Yeah. And she kind of, she kind of like looks over them. She's like, why don't the two of you go up on the shore? And they just kind of like nod and do so. Jeez, I wish people listened to me like that. Gotta, gotta let them dry out once in a while. All right. Oh. How do we want to? How do we want to do this, guys? I'd um, say talk to a diorite. The water. How is it clear, or is it you can't see to the bottom? It's crystal clear. Okay, uh, I want to take a real quick sort of scan of the pool from what I can see from the shore to see if I can see any bodies tucked away underneath a log or uh, something. You don't see any. Your guess would be like if it was a tidal wave that swept them away, they probably washed down river. They're probably somewhere down in the tusk water. Oh, okay. Gotcha. She's not saving them for later. She's not saving them for later. No. I was ex I was thinking it was a tidal wave of like run 30 feet and then disappear, but if it like has any sort of natural momentum to it, yeah. it, it these guys are gone. So Yeah. Well pulled into the river and then the river carries them away. Right. More of a more of a tidal wave in the classic sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm perfectly happy with making whatever bargain we want to make with this thing. Well, but we're uh, not we're not leaving these people here. Right? These are our people. We're in charge of making sure they're safe. Yeah. So we can make a bargain. However you like. 
as long as that bargain is that our people come home today. I don't think that kind of bargain is possible. This trip, but not today. We need to speak to a dryad to speed up this process. Oh, we break her spell. I don't know how to do that. Do you? It's possible. Do we get a sense of how how much travel would be involved in going to see the uh, the dryad? Uh, she just pointed to the uh, the west, but you can assume probably not too far because she doesn't seem like the sort that wanders a lot. Right. Well, uh, why don't a couple of us go and see if we can maybe talk to the Dryad and um, the rest of us stay here with Korax and the gang and the, the two folks uh, in the river. I think that's potentially dangerous, but I don't know if we have a better idea. I'm all right with it. I mean, I can stay and keep Korax from making any more stupid mistakes. Yeah, Flower and I could stay here, and uh, the rest of you can go bargain. Go use your talky talk skills. Yeah, well, that that that's just the way. The only way that I see uh, right now to keep everyone kind of copacetic, you know. I can assure you, you don't need my talking skills. Not in this situation. Well, in that case, should we go meet a dryad, see if we can acquire some instant trees? Yeah, let's let's do that. I'm all for that. Sounds good. Uh, Snow, could I borrow that uh, fancy little knife you got, just in case? Uh, it's in the it's in the bag. Ah, perfect. But I would implore you not to uh, yeah, yeah. flash it around. Yeah. Just just in case, right? All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Good luck. Godspeed. That's it. All right. So who else is going off to the Dryad? Everyone except Flower and the Father. Yeah. All right. Team Diplomacy staying here. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm worried about that, but... Team Inquisition, more like. Listen, it's like Team Inquisition and Team Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um... it's, it's just the, it's just the right. hang and judge and the executioner. What's the worst that could happen? I've already picked out a tree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. the, judge, right the judge and an executioner are staying here. The, exactly. the jury is leaving. The shotgun, <laughs> the shotgun uh, preacher and his thug. If we were uh, Muppets, we've left behind that big eagle guy and animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and yeah. animal. Uh, All right, yeah. Mood Pint, maybe did you want to did you want to stay with Melisance as well? I know, like you've seemed to have formed the best kinship with her. Uh, I kind of want to meet a dryad. I know, we're fine. I feel like he wants to go All for right. a swim, That's too. So. We're okay here, Snow Maple. All right, well, just uh, just be be chill, you know? I'm yeah. always chill. What are you talking about? No, I'm talking about him. Keep keep oh, an eye right. keep an eye on him. I'll yeah, don't let him right. do anything crazy. All right. And uh, she, will, she will gesture. She's like, do you guys want to come swimming? It's nice. I can teach you if you don't know how. Uh, sorry, but doors sink. 
I can make matter. it so I can make it so you can breathe. I'm good. Sure. Respectfully, I'm I'm good. I'll I'll watch from the sideline. I like to watch people have fun anyway. Uh, so yeah, so uh, she will uh, she will cast water breathing on you. Uh, water breathing only lasts for an hour unless it's heightened. Uh, but you do notice that she doesn't like like draw out any arcane components or anything of that nature. She just kind of like waves her hand and you find that you can breathe water. Cool. Yeah, I mean, Father Hall's fairly charismatic. And quite athletic. He can swim. You gotta get close to use that dagger too, right? Right. <laughs> uh, are you bringing the cold iron dagger? I'm bringing the bag of holding. Uh, but yeah, she just, she seems pleasant. She's frolic. She lets the people on shore, but, you know, once they've dried out a bit, she's like, you know, she just kind of asks them, like, hey, do you guys want to come back in the water? And they do. Like, it's very obvious that she has complete and total control of them. Yeah, so what Hall's got to do while they're going to see the dryad is just try to take care of these guys as best they can. You know, make sure that, you know, everyone gets their rest, everyone gets fed, you know. Yep. We're not going to escalate anything unless... Something escalates, but... Uh, yep. Uh, give me a medicine roll. Sure. Um, I, I was meaning to ask, what was their... The, the two charmed guys, what was their reaction when the Faye was speaking to us? Did they seem intent on what was going on or angry or anything? Or Nope. Completely, like, just... They, you know, they, they kept frolicking, like... Yep. Just got, completely chilled. Gotcha. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It's easy enough. You can take a look over them. Nobody tries to stop you. And they, they're in good health. Uh, you know, it seems like they are getting their rest. They are getting food. Getting a ton of exercise. Yeah. I'm, I, that, sure that's all good. Swimming. I mean, Hall's got uh, Dispel Magic all set up in case he needs it. But if everyone's fine for now, I think we're good here. Perfect. All right. Let's join Melisance for underwater uh, jazzercise. That's right. Uh, every Monday and Wednesday. Water just keep swimming. Just keep yeah. swimming. All right. So everybody else mounts up uh, and heads to the west. Uh, and it is getting on like dark by the time you uh, finally do come to uh, a little grove uh, in the area. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll be calling out for. Uh... Teresa the Dryad, um, as we approach. I'll, um, super quick, uh, before the calling out starts, I'll take out one of the spell scrolls that I picked up. Okay. Um, and cast Invisible Item on Snow Maple's Cold Iron Short Sword. Okay. Well, she doesn't have that. I think that's in the bag of holding. Or... Oh, okay. Or does she have that? The Cold Iron Short Sword is, uh, in my, uh, short sword sheath. So. Okay, perfect. Uh, then yes, absolutely, you can do that. I will. I will turn it invisible. Uh, that'll last until you draw some blood with it. Um, I just want to maybe keep it out of the prying eyes of a fae that we're trying to strike a deal with until we need it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the blade is sheathed, so I just don't trust them. <laughs> That's okay. Just in case. Um, so as you, uh, you know, you're calling out, looking for her as you travel. Yeah. Uh, probably... we, we know we know west, and we know that way. Yeah. But you know. Um, and as you as you're looking for her and kind of calling out, um, there's kind of like a kind of like a call and response from like some like uh, bird songs. Uh, kind of. They seem to be guiding you along. Like, you know, when you first hear it, it's off to the left. And when you go that way, you know, the, it starts to get stronger. Uh, definitely, like, the, the songbirds and stuff in the area are guiding you as you kind of call out. Oh, that seems fine. Uh, keep an eye out. Make sure we're not being led into some sort of trap, though. Yep. Uh, somebody can give me a uh, perception roll. Sorry, this is happening to the traveling group? Yes. Okay, and it's just happening out of nowhere? 
Uh, as you guys are traveling and calling out for the dryad, the birds are kind of guiding you along. Oh, okay. We're singing out. Okay. Um, Bellian say said that she uh, the dryad got like magic feathers from a bird. Can I make it like a recall knowledge to see if these sound like normal birds or magic birds? It sounds like feather tokens. No, like the the birds that we hear right now. Oh, they are completely natural birds. Okay. Uh, so yes, yeah, so uh, as you travel along, and these uh, these birds kind of guide you uh, in the moonlight or the the waning sunlight uh, to a uh, a small a small grove with a very large oak tree, a little pond of water near it, uh, and you see an absolutely stunningly beautiful fey woman kind of crouched uh, by the lake. Uh, judging from the way her shoulders are moving, she seems to be kind of sobbing. Oh, uh, hello there. Yeah. She kind of looks, kind of like wipes the tears. Like, oh, hello. Yeah. We we're calling. Yes, uh, sorry to, to interrupt. Uh, is something... Something wrong? Uh, I'm just worried for my home. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Hmm. And she kind of, you know, kind of like stands up, kind of like brushes tears aside. You know, her hair kind of falls, so we maintain our PG-13 rating. Yeah. <laughs> the... Uh, the, the the scythe tree it's destroyed much of the area that it's in and I fear before long it'll come here the, the scythe tree, tree. The scythe nature tree. check uh, nature check okay can we all make that oh sure boy oh natty 20 hey yeah well never mind wow. what's it what's it like I don't think I, I don't know. This is my first time. It, it, it feels weird. All right. Uh, oh, Snowman Maple rolled quite well as well. Um, so Traxton and Snow Maple, both of you, when she says Scythe Tree, you know, you kind of get this shiver. You've heard of these things. They are uh, malevolent. Uh, trees that uh, gorge themselves on flesh, blood, and bone of sapient creatures, specifically sapient creatures. Uh, they consider uh, kind-hearted uh, beings to be a delicacy. Mm. Uh, they are generally solitary in nature, but they are voracious predators. Um... Because uh, both of you rolled well enough, you are both aware that uh, they're trees. They uh, a good a good chopping uh, works well, uh, and they're gotcha. not and they're not very dexterous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we don't want those in our neighborhood? Do they no. cannibal? No. Do they cannibalize the surrounding vegetation? Uh, no, they really just kind of destroy it. Oh, they just mash it up. So they they desire the the, the flesh of, of or poison it of of sapient beings, but they equal opportunity to destruction on the forest itself. Yeah, they are chaotic, evil assholes. Right. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. so it's a like a purposeful destruction. It's not just because they're around; they're killing things. Right. It is a purposeful destruction. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um. So they. Uh, just so, just so you guys are aware, they specifically have a weakness to axes. Oh. We know where we might find a few of those. Uh, and reflex saves are their lowest. So, does, uh, does Flower have an axe? I think he does, still he? has the giant axe. Oh, that's going to be great. Um, there's, there's also a lumber camp just a, a square or a hex back, so... Bush, yeah. Um, but, um... So, Teresa, uh, we recently had a, a misunderstanding uh, with uh, 
uh, your neighbor, uh, uh, Melisande's the, 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 the Nixie. Oh, yes, she's lovely. Yeah, she had a bit of a misunderstanding with some of our uh, uh, lumber jacks. Um, uh, we're trying to, to encourage a, a nearby settlement. But uh, now that we know that um, uh, she maintains a, an area that she wishes to protect, and, and I mean, I'm sure that you do as well, um, perhaps we can come to a mutual agreement where we respect your boundaries and um, you uh, uh, are occasionally understanding of the uh, occasional uh, trespasser uh, in, in a non-hostile way. Um, as long as we respect each other's boundaries, I, I think we should be able to get along well. Um, we... we, we uh, would appreciate your help in restoring a couple of, uh, or in encouraging the growth of a couple of trees for, for Millicent's to replace the ones that our uh, lumberjacks um, uh, took in, in error uh, when they initially met. As long as nobody chops down my tree. Right. Of course. Uh, I never. Know. And I would, I would sincerely like to help, but... I'm afraid with, you know, fear of this evil monster coming to destroy my well, tree and eat me. I just can't imagine how I would ever find anything to reward you with. And she kind of like bats her eyes in a very obvious way. Right. So uh, I suggest that perhaps well, me and my associates could. Well, we have we have a couple more. Like it's not just me and, and Traxton and the the two little fellows. Um, I am a little fellow. Yeah. I, I realize it doesn't look impressive at the moment, uh, maybe at first what? blush, um, but we're awesome. Yeah, we could take care of this this scythe uh, scythe tree, uh, no problem. Oh, that would be lovely, uh, and I'm sure once the the weight of that is off my mind, I will most assuredly be able to find things around here to reward you with. Sounds like a deal. Um... Do you have any idea where we might find this this scythe tree? Uh, a couple of miles to the to the south. You, it, the the hollow right. that it resides in is dark and blighted. You, know, you won't be able to miss it. There's no animal life around it. Uh, we definitely I, want to get rid of that. Yeah. But I can have the I can have the birds guide you to the vicinity. Sounds great. We just need to go back and and get our our allies. And uh, then we'll take care of this scythe tree. Absolutely. For for everybody's well-being, oh. uh, yours, ours, and and Melisa's. Yes, uh, I'm sure that once the tree was done eating me, it would move on. We won't let this happen. Is there anything more you can tell us about it? You've you've mentioned it's you know hunger but do you know what it may be capable of more specifically um, intense violence right right that tracks yeah i think intense violence we can handle um you have to keep your eye open because if it is not moving around it's uh hard to discern from normal trees gotcha oh really so it doesn't have like scythe-like appendages. Mm, its branches are quite sharp. Ah, okay. Is it le are the leaves any different than the trees around here? No, it camouflages itself quite well. It will look like a dead tree. A dead tree. It, okay. And it and probably it's... will have killed everything nearby. Mm, unless it needed it to ambush. It right. is a it is a ambush predator. So it has some measure of intelligence, then? Yes, it does. It is actually capable of speech, should it deign to. Interesting. Sylvan? Uh, amongst other languages. Interesting. The evil tree many. speaks multiple languages. That's great. It does. It speaks three. Goddamn. There could be multiple dead trees in a blighted hollow. We'll it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, she, uh, Teresa seems to think it's rather obvious. Like, I'm sure we'll notice her. 
I'll try my best. The All dryad, right. sorry, the dryad looks like she's made out of wood, right? She's not flesh and blood. Um, she looks. Or is she? Um, she is a little bit of both. Oh, okay. Just wondered the aesthetic. Yeah, uh, basically, like kind of like like uh, like a woody brown coloration to her skin, uh, but then like where a normal person would have hair like on the legs on the forearms that sort of thing it's uh either wood or leaves gotcha all right well let's let's head back uh to Millicent real quick and see if we can pick up the others and then perhaps in the morning we can get this scythe tree sorted i agree right So traveling through the woods at night. Yeah, not ideal, but with uh, with a split party. With a split party. Well, only half of us are doing it, so. Two, I think, more than half of us have dark vision, though, don't we? Quite a few of you have dark vision. Um, Snow Maple's uh, Wayfinder has the light spell. Yeah, right. my Wayfinder can be on all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not limited or anything. Yeah, no. Uh, and uh, Traxon has his uh, tattoo for determining direction and everything, even in the dark. So it's, it's really just random encounters that you need to worry about. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the wee hours of the morning, as the sun is just starting to crest and the, the rain is starting to, to start, um, Father Hall and, uh, and Flower... Um, you guys can stay with the at the campsite at the with the lumberjacks easily. They are not causing any trouble now that you guys are here. Good. Hopefully, they've already exchanged their apologies. Uh, they seem I to think be. We could have, I think we could have facilitated that while they were gone. Anyway. I, I yeah. expect so. Yeah. Yeah. Like just hand on the back of the neck. You're apologizing now. Yeah. Uh huh. And it, it's very much that kind of like that kind of churlish apology. I think like he goes to say originally, I'm just like, mean it. <laughs> he kind of mumbles an apology. Uh, and, you know, Meliance is looking at him, just kind of like staring daggers at him. It's like, don't attack people with axes. He's like, and I won't attack anybody with an axe. And she seems happy with it. Uh, or, at the, or at the very least, she doesn't give it any real concern. Mm. It's probably the best we could hope for. Yeah, that, that, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Right, uh, but uh, by the time uh, the the group arrives, uh, Father Hall and Flower, you guys can easily get some sleep. But the rest of the group is bedraggled and exhausted as you get into camp. How'd it go? About as well as you'd expect, really. There's a tree that I eats mean, people. Oh, that. What? The dryad is willing. The dryad is willing to help us. We need the, to take care of a situation a, for a scythe it. tree. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's a, there's a scythe a, tree. There's a tree that eats trees and and people and, and people. Like a well, uh, cannibal tree. It prefers people, actually. Yeah. It's equal opportunity to just destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with a um, with a heavy preference towards intelligent life destruction. Yeah, if we take care of that for the for the dryad, uh, she's going to be really helpful, I think. So, so kill tree, evil get tree, trees, kill super, tree, to super evil super trees. evil tree. Yep. Get right. Destroy evil tree. Dryad helps us get trees. Get people back. Am I the only one that sees the irony in this? No, yep. no. Don't, no, don't think can, don't yeah. think too long about it. No, no. Don't ponder it, no. It makes sense if you don't think about it. Do we know where this tree is? Uh to the south of ways. Uh apparently there's a dead grove uh that marks its territory and uh it's apparently really good at at hiding itself as a tree 
but it'll look like a dead tree. Mm -hmm. So I should get the axe. It, uh... Yeah, big big axe. Big axe energy is what we're looking for. It, it really doesn't like axes. I'll put the eye beam away and I'll take out the axe. Maybe worth if you picked up an axe or two as Valtraxton, what do you think? There is do not a have... single axe in this game that has finesse. Do we have extra? Yeah, I was looking at those two. God damn. A bunch of them have agile, but none of them have finesse. Yeah. Do we have axes to for for I to use or no? It is a it is a lumber camp that you guys are at. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. The the satellite camp, I can snag, snag, I mean, or snag an axe. Yeah, originally, I would say uh, a lumberjack axe is not an effective fighting axe, but since we're fighting trees... It's perfect. Yeah. The lumber camp probably has, like, hatchets. Yeah, sure. go, go go talk to, to Korax and tell him, tell him you need his axe. Whatever's available. If there's a small axe and a big axe, I'll take both. It was this axe that started the problems. It's this axe that's going to help fix the problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're basically they have lumber axes, which are essentially hatchets. They don't have any battle axes or anything of that nature. Sounds oh, sounds fine. So then two two guys are going to lose their axes: Korax and another guy. Unless they have spares. And see, two. the advantage of being the rulers is you guys are like, we're taking your axes. And they're like, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. They'll get them back. They will, actually. Well, once you, once you've actually. once you've learned your lesson. Take a day or two <laughs> to think about what yeah, you... Yeah, exactly, done. exactly. Yeah. This is your punishment. No. I mean, they didn't know they were doing something wrong. But... Just, just go with it. Just go with it. So, it, 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 it's like with that little tone of just like you know what shame on you think about what you've done yeah oh. okay. so who all is grabbing at axes i've got mine just tracks I, I think i think just tracks and yeah yeah give me a sec here and i'll add the uh i'll add them onto the character sheets it's a shame we don't have the uh Ignition word for that flame sword yet? I'd say that'd be handy too. Yeah. Um, is is that the problem? Is it is it is it a trigger word we don't have that it? It needs to we be. It, it needs to be repaired. Yeah, right. we don't have a, a vital right. element to it. Yeah. I just said trigger word, but it's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll definitely have to look into that. Um, trigger so. word is flame on. A yeah. factor is missing, right? That's all. Yeah. And it's something like once you're someplace with a library, like even if you go back to uh, to Brevoy, they have a library. It's fairly easy to research, just a matter of finding the time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So the next batch of downtime, that'll probably be what what Snow does. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I added the hatchets onto uh, Traxon and the great axe onto uh, on the flower. Perfect. I see that. Thank you. Uh, but the 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 travel group is going to need to sleep. Yeah, just yes. a, yeah. a nap. It's exhausted. Take a nap, say, guys. After, after he gives the explanation, Traxton just goes to sleep. <laughs> it collapses. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Far enough away from the fire not to get burned if there is one, but that's about it, really. All right. I mean, you, had, you, can, you can sleep close to the fire. You just have to build yourself kind of a backstop so you don't roll over the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So yeah, a couple hours later, you know, good, you know, six, seven, eight hours of sleep, uh, and the group is uh, ready. Everybody can hit their everybody can hit their rest button. Anybody who wants to change out spells can do so. I should probably do that. Well, uh, burning hands. I think I'll keep. Yeah, I mean. Axe is great. It's probably not keen on fire either. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It is still a tree, after all. Yep. If we're going to be in a grove, though, you'll have to be careful how you aim it. That's fair. We don't want to start a forest fire. Yeah, lots of yeah. other dead trees around. Well, it is raining today, so there is that. 
Oh, there you go. That'll, that'll perfect. Be, that'll, yeah, that'll be great. Sweet. I can't wait till I see a fireball if those exist. Um, I think it's just a level three spell slot. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't think we have any of those yet. No, uh, exactly. Fifth level, right around the corner. We're yeah. awful close. That's what I mean. So if we're resting in the lumber camp, do we have to pass back through the pond? Uh, no, you can kind of go around it. Okay. Like you, you guys are staying at the the small camp at the pond as opposed to going all the way back. To... Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to make food in the morning? I know we're not doing the whole like the entire camp thing. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna cook something, you certainly can. Um... Yeah, I'd like to cook some fish on a stick. Before we right. take off, Chris, I'd like to bring uh, Melisande up to up to speed. Okay, she, she is uh, she's quite excited. She's like she kind of like like kind of like overemphasizes her emotions. Like she's not quite sure what emotion she's supposed to be feeling because Fey are weird and don't think like humans do. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so she acts like like super horrified when you talk about the uh, the scythe tree and like claps and kind of dances when you talk about how you're you guys are, are like going to go destroy it yeah like, and i try to humor her as much as possible yeah so like because i'm a space elf and we're weird too yeah. uh so yeah she um she has the right emotions for what you tell her but they are greatly over exaggerated it's a right. roller coaster it is a no, roller I, coaster talking to her i yeah. think i think snow can deal with that it's, kind of, it's just like it's just like talking to Lindsay. It's like talk, it's like if you give Lindsay a bunch of coffee. Yeah, she's really yeah. excited. Like about everything. Lindsay times three. Lindsay level nine thousand. Yeah. Honestly, I think we have to get them together as soon as possible. Like oh, they're no. gonna be they're gonna get on like a house on fire. All right. Uh, I got to look up the. It's DC seventeen. I failed. DC seven. Okay. So there is some burnt fish on sticks. That's fine. Uh, pass. I was gonna have uh, perhaps a, a a goodwill gesture, but it didn't work out, so it's fine. Uh, snow maple will uh, totally eat burnt fish on stick. I uh, tried to cook salmon in a campfire the other night uh, and left it in the fire way too long, oh. so I think I'm good on burnt fish. Salmon bacon. That sounds a lot better than whatever I made. <laughs> <laughs> I made really awesome crepes today. Nice. Nice. We have to get like a Sunday where you and Olivia can come up for brunch too. Yeah, that'd be great. No, we'll, we'll both figure out a time and a date. All right, so yes, uh, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, folks finally started rolling out of bed. Uh, the professor has, like, cooked some fish on a stick. Yeah. Oh, it's cooked all right. Well done. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, Very well done. It's not a critical failure, so... Yeah. Snow Maple eats it, spits out the bones. Yeah, yeah see, it's totally fine. I'd rather face the tree. You will. Uh, Snow Maple occasionally eats weird things anyway. Like, oh, this, is not, this is not unusual behavior. Traxton will give Gratch his, uh, his share, but he'll take the sticks off first. Or out. Yeah, sure. Gratch, you can have mine too, buddy. He does. Indeed, he does. Yeah, he's happy as hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, I get Sorry. people food. This is. This is just Cajun flavoring to him. That's right. Blackened fish on a stick. Yeah, he loves it. Right. Oh. Kill a tree. Need, needs more salt. Evil tree. If you say so. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, by the time you guys are done, uh, done lunch and kind of like mounting up, uh, Millie Anson will like, she like wave to you. She'll say bye. Yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll be back soon. Don't worry. Um, and she will kind of like catch Moot Point's attention, and she'll kind of whisper. Yeah. In his, she'll whisper in his ear. She'll get very close, and she'll whisper in his ear. And she says, "I know what's going to happen isn't your fault." 
and then she dives back into the water. What the fuck? What? Dun dun dun. Okay. One minute fight. Really even. All right. Tally I'm home. good all day. No. All right. I'll come over and I'll, I'll catch up and wander up and says, uh, just so you know, she says, whatever happens isn't my fault. That's yeah. Okay. Sure. That's ominous. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? What do, what do we say about telling stories? Hey, I'm just happy to know it's not my fault. Should should we send the the other lumberjacks back to the back to the main camp? Yes, I was about to say. I was literally about to be like, Korax, fuck off home. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna take care of things here. Uh, if we're not back by day after tomorrow, um, wait longer. Okay, we we got the the Grove tour, did we? What she considers to be her territory. She did show you. She she could have shown yeah. Father Hull and, and Flower as well while they were waiting. Sounds great. perfect. And it's perfect. not. So it, is it the hex or is it just a spot? No, it's just a spot. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it's so probably they... probably like the lake, and then like another like fifty-ish feet around the lake, right? Or, or the pond. Right, right. If we have if we have those if we have that as a as a, like a little map or something, yeah. maybe we can add uh, Teresa's tree to the to the map as well. Sure. Or thereabouts. Yeah. And for right now, we'll give it the same sort of um, leeway as the as the pond and everything. But we'll yeah. find out from her what she protected, wants. Protected protected yeah. status. Yeah. My my thought is though just to make sure that that information goes back with these guys that but, yeah. this area is off limits now. Off limits. Provincial yeah, I, I think we told him that the hex was off limits anyway. Right, but just to yeah. specify and to be sure of things, right? I think we should make sure that. Yeah, definitely, definitely, do not do any logging here. Near the near the pond and uh -huh. the distance around it. We want to we yeah. want to establish good relations with our fey neighbors. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if it was the hex, I'd just fucking kill her. <laughs> sure. Why? Why even? Why even say that? I, I wouldn't say it out loud, but okay. No, well, yeah. okay, good. Yep. All right. Industry, right? Yep. Yeah. Progress. Yeah. Right. Uh, so yeah. So uh, do you guys bid adieu to the folks and uh, make sure the lumberjacks are heading on their way. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And make your way into this hex here. Mm, now, are we in a true. different section? Is that the the white border? The white border yeah, is. Yeah, Camelands. This is the hard part. Yeah, it's a uh, Camelands are is like zone four. So basically, stuff is generally on level for fourth level characters. Okay. okay. I was about to say we do have a chance to to yeah. know if we're walking into yeah. the red zone. Yeah. If there's something that's super dangerous, you'll know. You'll be like, huh? I wonder what ate those dragon corpses scattered along the road. Yeah, I just Giant. I just wanted to I just wanted to yep. you know establish the demarcations. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah the uh, the white lines are basically regional boundaries. And does that put Teresa's uh, grove in a in a in a similar area? Yep, it does. Okay, excellent. Um, while we're traveling, could I attempt to recall knowledge on scythe trees? You sure can. Consulting your book. Well, yeah, maybe we can, maybe we can discuss it. What do I um, know about? Actually, I'll give myself. Sorry, I'll get another plus one from Pocket Library. All right. Can we claim this territory? Is it up for grabs, or is it somebody else's? Uh no. All of the territory you come across pretty much is yours to grab. You'll know if it's somebody else's. We right. just okay. we just ran out of kingdom turns with, to, to to claim more. Yep. Yeah. Right. Uh, but now okay. that you guys are Kingdom Four, it means during the region phase you can attempt to claim two hexes at a time. Or two, you can use two actions to claim two hexes. You can basically repeat the action. Oh, gotcha. snap. Yeah, we so, got a, we've got a couple, I think, already we could claim, possibly. Yeah, so basically anything that is uh, that is colored on the map is stuff that you can, that you have at least traveled through enough to probably claim. Right. Yeah, we really got to find some time to work on those two squares or two hexes below Layton. Agreed. Yeah. It bothers me a little, too. Just this unexplored territory right on your border. Yeah, and we gotta find we gotta find that uh, that um, lake hag too, right? She's there somewhere. Yeah, we've. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've come up against a lot of like pressing issues. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's not like, enough time to do everything. It's true. 
there isn't. Uh, so for Snow Maple and the Professor, uh, so yeah, thinking on it, um, Site Threes, uh, both of you have heard of them. Snow Maple, you're already aware that they're uh, susceptible to uh, to damage from axes specifically. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, both her and the professor, as you're kind of discussing it back and forth, uh, it's made out of wood, so it's going to be probably resistant to uh, to many weapons, uh, specifically bludgeoning and piercing. Um, all right. Do they count as um, fair? Uh, do they count as fake? Uh, not. A, they're not actually. They are a plant. Okay. So that's that's something we need to know. That's yep. that's that's good information. Yeah, uh, they are, they are they are fast, but they're not uh, they're not super reactive. I.e., they do have a reaction, but they don't have attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. So they have a reaction, but it's not an attack of opportunity. Correct. Do we do we know the reaction? Or? Uh, no, neither one of them rolled well enough. That is the extent. Gotcha. Uh, they are they are surprisingly robust. Uh, I e so Fortis, four is highest. Fort Fort is their highest. Uh, reflex and, is their lowest. And reflex is their lowest. Um, is their lumber good for anything? Uh, no, it is evil and cursed and bitey. Gotcha. Did I attempt a follow up recall knowledge check. Sure can. I mean, certain classes might like evil, cursed, bitey wood. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I answer stuff. Yeah, and uh, and the professor uh, the professor is also certain that they are very, very flammable. Excellent. So that's good. Cool. Uh, I was thinking about stopping by an alchemist before we left Leighton, and now I'm wishing we did. Yeah. It's just a tree. Can't be that hard. No, let's 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 have a look around. See see what mm. we see. Um, so yes, as you as you travel and uh, true to her word, uh, Teresia has uh, has sent uh, like little songbirds to kind of guide your way. Perfect. Yeah, we know we know what that's like. So yeah. so that yeah. would be a surprise. Uh, so as you start to get into this kind of like darker wooded area, there's like these little birds singing like little kind of Disney esque bird songs kind of like buoying your spirit and, and urging you onwards. Um, and you can start to smell, especially Traxton, this uh, sickly sweet stench of decay hanging in the air. Um, the dying trees in the, the perimeter of the of this hollow, creating this thick canopy that basically blocks out most of the sunlight uh, and kind of cloaks everything in shadow. Uh, there's like withered vegetation and bones strewed all over the all over the ground mixture of animal and human and demi-human remains I hate this thing already um and you can see you can clearly see the uh, the scythe tree uh because it is moving uh it seems to be tearing apart uh what looks like at one point it may have been an elf um perfect <laughs> Uh, and it's a uh, it's a dark like a dark brown tree about twenty feet tall with these like dark twisted roots that it uses as feet. Um, its branches cover a wide area around it, uh, and end in like these wicked like curved scythe like branches. And there's what looks like a long scar in the center of the trunk that kind of splits open as it engulfs the elf and these this like toothy toothy mouth just chomp 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 chomp. Okay, let's. Then no, it was gonna be that big. Let's warm up, I guess. I mean, it's a tree. Right? Can I exploit vulnerabilities on it? Uh, well, first of all, folks can roll some initiative because there's no surprise rounds. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, am I supposed to have two second level spells or just one? I uh, I'm supposed to have two. two. Okay, it's just showing one right now, but I'm. I had two, and then. I must have clicked something wrong. Anyway, putting the visibility back. Okay. Uh, was that exploration leading into this? 
Uh, yes, it would have been as you're starting to move in, yes. So you could have your shield up. I will avoid notice. Okay. Uh, before we get here, what would have been more advantage advantageous? Because we were discussing like weaponry and stuff. Would it be more advantageous for me to be going with the? Like I'd ask, I'd just straight up probably ask the professor about um, the smoldering sword or an axe versus this thing. Probably a combination of the two. Okay. Um, it's going to be fire and axes that'll get it done. So if you can right. have one in one, one in the other. Yeah, that's where he was leaning, so. Yeah, one yeah. of each. Gives you a nod. Yeah, axe in the offhand, for sure. Unfortunately, until we actually start fighting it, I don't know which one's going to be better. Right. But. Well, that's exactly okay. what I'm asking you, so. Uh, before anybody fight, we start fighting, I'm going to uh, summon a, uh, an elemental. Uh, the only level one fire elemental I can get is a lava otter, but they look cute. Yeah. <laughs> So you can do that and on your turn invisible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just because there, there's no surprise type stuff. So basically, you could cast it ahead of time, but if it only lasts a minute, it's gone by the time the combat starts. Is that all it lasts to? Oh shit! Never mind then. I think that's. I mean, that's one point. A minute is a long time in combat. Yeah. Yeah, it says a minute. Uh, I'm yeah. going to turn invisible before combat, though. Is that okay? <laughs> that's um, ten minutes. Yeah, that you could do during the exploration phase. All right. I uh, just need initiative from Flower. I'm going powerful slow. So equal level encounter. There's only one guy we see. This thing is going to be a badass. It's a Pathfinder math works, right? It's a good thing we have a Paladin. Right. Uh, do we have a rule? Flower? Uh, oh, he's BRB. Mm. I posted oh, a, a lava otter in the chat. You on too. Uh, Discord. Up. Isn't that great? <laughs> you didn't want him. You didn't summon him to die, though, because it's raining, did you? I don't know. Okay. I guess we'll learn together. Just curious. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Welcome, Otter. Oh. Oh, he's a he's a new creature, too. He's from Rage of Elements. I googled the first level fire elemental because that's all I could get. That's cool, though. Well, that's the kind of thing you do with a new book, right? You try and fill in the gaps. Yeah. We need a we need a fire monster for yeah. CR one. Here we go, stomp. Yeah. Bird. Just means I don't have a token for him, but no big deal. He's not going to live long. He's got twenty two hit points. Yeah, this is not bad. Jaws and claws <laughs> and fire damage. He's gonna he's gonna crust over okay. pretty quick probably. Perfect. I don't know if uh, if Zach is back or not, but I can roll his initiative. All right. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna fill my water. Yeah, we can get in a couple turns before it's Zach's turn. Uh, oh, it goes to thirty-two. It's not good. What was that? I got some sort of like unknown API error. I heard a, I heard a chachong. That's the combat starts. Oh, okay. Nothing happened over here. That's uh, a big tree. Beat me in an in initiative by one. Great. Uh, so it's going to move to there. And then it's going to lash out a Traxton. Oh, reach. Lots of reach. Oh, misses. Poo. Yeah, it'll try to hit again. Plus 18. God damn. Plus 18. I know, right? And, yeah. back, and backswing. Yay, invisibility. 15 foot reach. Jesus. 
There it is. Oh, only 12 damage. Barely scratched. So yeah, so this tree just comes and it just like lashes out. Tracks and ducks under one, but it swings back with uh, kind of backhand and catches them with it. Because uh, the way backswing works is if you miss with your first attack, you get a plus one to hit on your second attack. Uh, that will take us to Snow Maple. Hi, um, the ventriloquism spell doesn't have any real tactical effect. Like, it doesn't, they don't get distracted or... Um, the actual spell, no, but it does give you plus one on deception for, like, fainting and things. Right, okay. Uh, but that depends. Like, I generally, spells like that and ghost sound, if it's something that will react to sound, I'm generally, you know, it might. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to give it a try. See, see what happens. I can't do a lot very interesting in this combat anyway. Uh, so you can make your uh, sound uh, emanate from anywhere within 60 feet. Uh, yeah, I'll... Uh... I'll just I'll just uh, hit that tree next to it and uh, okay. be like, uh, your roots are uh, misshapen and you smell bad. You know, try and Take get its attention. But you can't eat me. Oh well, okay. there you go. That's that's one. I, um, so it does. Uh, it does kind of turn its attention and then. Uh, but as it does, uh, snow maple, you notice it, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any eyes. It has a big toothy mouth, but no eyes. So it's probably right. using senses other than sight. That's fair. Yeah. So it doesn't need to see us. Uh, that's good to know. I do have one alchemist fire left, I think. Yep. Heave ho. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. yeah. All right. Very Thanks nice. Saving up. Good opener. Oh, nice. Uh, and then I'll attempt to see if I can, uh, was it demoralize it? Uh, you can certainly try. What language are you demoralizing it in? Oh, that's fair. Um, I'll just, I'll just try common. I don't, I don't have any fairy languages. Okay. So it's a minus four for language barrier. All right. I think, though, I think when you do uh, demoralize, I think there's a little check box for language penalty. Right. Oh, it's out of range. Uh, never mind. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and when you throw it, 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 it does catch on fire. Um, it does not seem to be inordinately on fire. And you think that perhaps the professor has uh, misjudged this. <gasps> oh, it's, huh. not a, it's not a burning yeah, tree. Bro. Dubious okay. knowledge. So, critical failure on the recall knowledge. That's all right. Um, I'll just do... Uh, so, yeah, given that information, I will try battle assessment. All right. With my third action. Perfect. So that is a secret perception check. Uh, I guess it's deception or stealth DC. It's deception DC is probably not good. Yeah. Uh, it's stealth probably isn't that good either. It's 20 feet tall. Uh, it's, stealth, well, it's, it's stealth is surprisingly good under certain circumstances. Yeah, I was yep. going to say, it's, it's stealth is probably situationally very good. Stand still. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Train of woods, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Camouflage. Okay. Seal up that mouthy part okay. and, 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 you know, pretend to be a not evil okay. tree. Uh, did you... Uh, 
Uh, I'm just trying to see which. Oh, welcome back, Zach. Uh, I'll be back. We're fighting the tree. Oh, nice. Is it the tree or is it just? It's it's the tree. Uh, it's unless, the tree. Unless, yeah. unless there's another one around, in which case. Uh, so you already know. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think of something that you don't know to tell you. That's all right. Um, it's its highest vulnerability is to axes. Right, axes. Uh, fire is a fire's a, a just a regular. Just fire, a regular fire. Fire seems to have just a regular effect. Right. So it doesn't burn especially well. Just so everybody knows. Call that out. Dropping my sword. Uh, and other than that, I'm content to stay on the back line and wait for healing to need to be done. So that second instance of damage, is that the, the ongoing damage? That's the ongoing. Oh, that's fine. It's still good. Like, you know. Oh, persistence good. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, and from the trees over here, uh, something fires out uh, like a bunch of uh, like thorns at Traxid, but misses. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, it's got it's got minions. It's got friends. Of course it does. I mean, in a way, that's good. Um, in it, in, in right. what way is that good? Yeah, it, it means his level's lower. Its level's lower. I don't know what a level is. It just seems like it's more enemies to kill. It's still got an exactly. 18 to hit. Um, no good, all bad. Yeah. Oh, look at that tiny little guy. Is there a tiny little guy? <laughs> yeah, like just to the north. There. Oh Ooh. shit! He's small. He itty bitty. Eventually, he'll become a branch jack. If he doesn't murder we'll, us out, we'll like call him Kinlan. It's got to be stick stick jack first. We'll rehabilitate him. He'll be fine. Uh, and then a cone of stuff sprays out of the trees. Oh. Down here, only catching Flower, who needs to make a uh, reflex save. What am I making? Uh, yeah, reflex, reflex save. All right. Reflex is... save versus splinters. Yep. yep. That's my Shrapnel. least favorite save. A barrage of splinters and brambles. Oh. Why not? No. Okay. Uh, that is actually a critical failure. Ooh. Oh, good. Right now, I'm pissed. I'll block it with my face. You're always mad. Oh, God. Everybody Ouch. keeps thinking that, but I'm not always mad. Mm. Mm. I feel like you're, like, annoyed quite frequently. So, yeah, so this barrage of sponges just kind of catches Flower in the face. Ouch. For a total of 36 damage. Oh! Okay. Puts me down to half close to well, and, uh, and you guys see a tiny little guy kind of dart across over closer to the big tree I just heard medic to the front I that's all that's what I heard uh, that'll take us to moot pint well moot pint will stay invisible and cast a summon elemental because even if it's not fire uh, prone, it's uh, one more target for it. And that takes all three of my actions. Okay. Uh, Gonna summon a lava otter. Yeah. Ain't it cute? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is super cute. Can you summon an axe elemental? <laughs> I'll look up if I can find a, a level one axe elemental of some sort. And <laughs> well, didn't they <laughs> add metal and wood as elemental things? They did. Yeah, so you you might be able to do an axe elemental. 
Yeah, depending on the game. Perfect. All right. Uh, I just want to check one thing on invisibility. Like the 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 new class in the book, their uh, kineticist or whatever it is. Uh, all seems, right. Yeah. Seems like it's all about uh, the Wujin sort of nonsense. It is. It's it's yeah. very much like Avatar: The Last Airbender stuff. Yeah. It's really cool. I think my favorite spell is the one where you like open a portal to a plane of wood and a bunch of logs come rolling out and flatten difficult terrain and squish things that are in front of it. Lumber avalanche, yeah. yeah. Or, or just the, the palisade one that you're just like, okay, here's here's a wooden wall and there's ladders on our side. Yep. Okay, so, so basically, invisibility lasts 10 minutes. Uh, I am undetected to all creatures unless it tries to find me, and then, in which case, if it does find me, I, count, I change to hidden. There's yeah. nothing here that says concentration. No, it's not because there's no concentration spells, but it's also it stays up until you use a hostile action. So you can cast spells and remain invisible. You just can't do anything hostile. Yep, fine. Perfect. Uh, well, that if, you're, would... if, you're, if you're throwing water at a tree, is that hostile or are you just watering the tree? Uh, that'll take us to Father Liam. Well, I had a plan and then Flower got shot in the face, so plan changed. I think he got shotgunned in the face. He, he really did. Yeah. SMG'd uh, in the face. I think I'm gonna I drop... I took, like, bird shot to the face. Yeah. Drop a heal on the him. Uh, two action. Yeah, go, big guy. Thank you. And I'm going to raise the shield. All right. That will take us to flower. Now, I would have every reason to go after the twig jack. However, giant monster. Big monster. Yep. That's a bigger fight. I'd like to kill you later, twig jack. He's going to just stroll up here. Okay. And so because the, 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 this is adjacent to it, right? Because of its... Yeah, it takes up all nine squares, yeah. And he's going to swing into it with his axe. He is huge. It he is, is a huge tree. He's a big boy. target it first. But Flower has axe. Flower does have axe. Not on a two. I'm going to hero point this. All right. There you go. Ooh, that is a hit. Nice. Good job, Crypto. Perfect. So you chop into it, and yeah, it does, like, the axe bites very, very deep. Good. And I'm going to uh, Dread Marshal. Okay. Intimidate a tree. May not speak common, but it speaks axe. No. Eh, maybe not. Okay. Alright, uh, that will take us to Traxton. Yeah. Um, one action for some hunted prey. I shall move. Does this do a flank with flower there? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think it's from, like we move through the center-ish. Yeah. Anyway. Uh... So that'll be my move action, and I'll get some. Actually, I'll get him to um, move up and attack this turn. All right. By his own self. By his own self. So how do I this manage? This could be to... Gratch's first attack. Do I just roll a d20 and add some, or is there a thing to do uh, for that? No, if you uh, target the tree. Okay. And then uh, oh. select a Gratch, and you should have uh, strike options. Okay. Or you can just open his character sheet. And it should, like, when I click on him, I, the, the bar on the bottom should change? Uh, no, the bar on the bottom will stay, uh, but the uh, the options across the top will switch to Gratch. I got it. Yep. 
when I click it, it comes up and he's got him in the side there. So yep. I just gotta find an attack, I guess. Yeah, he's got claws and bite. Okay. Still not seeing that. How do I open his character sheet? Sorry. Uh, See? Just uh, just double click on yep. him and it should open. Got it. Uh, targeted. Attack. Uh, let's go. Let's, let's claw this thing. Rolling. Ooh. Ooh, that is a hit. Excellent. Let me move some windows one sec. Here we go. Damage. Not horrible. Not horrible. Uh, and it yeah. does it does seem because it's uh, because the claws are a slashing weapon, it's not resistant to it. Awesome. That's uh, my turn. That will take us to the professor. Yeah. Um so this twig jack number one. Yep. Uh, up to the north. Uh, I will exploit vulnerabilities. Nice. Nice. I think you will. So, uh, it is weak to fire. Uh, it is not particularly susceptible to cold iron, despite being a fey. It is, however, uh, quite agile, uh, with its reflex save being the highest, willpower save being the lowest. Uh, moderately robust, but not a, not a big threat to you guys, necessarily. Basically, it's lower level than you guys are. Well, I mean, outside of the 30-odd damage you did to the flower. Um, well, and I also sure. got... Crit fail on my part. Yeah. I got uh, additional stuff with Diverse Lore, yeah? Uh, you do. Uh, it is actually capable of teleporting from uh, from tree to tree. Interesting. Do we know the range on that teleportation? Very short range. Like Very short, okay. No more than 60 feet. That's oh, not sorry. very short, but okay. Um, yeah, I'll stoke uh, some some flames on this uh, crossbow bolt. Uh, and I will launch a crossbow at him. Here you go. That is a hit. So yeah, the crossbow bolt and it sinks into it, and this creature like it's made out of like dried tinder, pretty much, and it kind of like starts to starts to burn. Smoke rolls off it. It seems like the the flaming bolt uh, was super effective against it. Sweet. Um, and my third action uh, will be a bon mot against the scythe tree. Okay. Um, and I will speak in. Aklo. Okay. Hoping that it understands Aklo. It does seem to. Sweet. Oh, me too. Oh. Not not my best. Um, actually, I'll hear a point that because the critical failure is pretty bad. Okay. okay. Well, at least it's just a regular failure. Yep. Right. Regular failure is better than critical failure. So, uh, but that's me. important note, uh, trees are, are fairly resistant to being yelled at. Uh, yeah, it would seem so. Yeah. Who would have thought? They uh, also don't seem to be afraid of much. They like the oxygen. Taking that persistent fire damage, I like that. Yeah. Uh, so it is going to lash out at the person with the axe. That seems fair. Yep. The big axe or the small axe? Well, the one that's hit it with an axe. Oh, fair. Yeah, the big one. <laughs> oh, dear. Nah, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Flower, my whole job is keeping you up. Uh, and then it is going to swing a second time. Oh, stop. Yep. Oh god. 
Okay. And what do I do next? Time to introduce flour into heavy armor. Uh, I don't think that works for bar barbarians. Also, won't make a bloody difference. Uh, oh, oh, it's got damn. three attacks. It's got three actions. Hey, holy shit! Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this thing just like like flower cuts into it deep with the axe, and it just turns all of its anger and aggression on uh, on flower, just like pounds him into the ground, ripping chunks of flesh off of him. Uh, that will take us to snow maple. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. She's so fast. Alright, uh, excellent success. So that is some healing to flower. Yep, just 10, but well, it's something. Uh, it's two actions. Uh, third action, I will try and uh, hit him with the healer's gloves. Okay. Yeah, that's a 13, 23, that's not terrible. With how fast Snow Maple is, I like to think that, like, Flower wasn't even on the ground yet. He was in the process of falling. She's like, oh, wait, wait, big guy. Don't wake up. I oh, gotcha, wait, wait, I gotcha. Get... Hey, wake oh. up, slap. <laughs> yeah, that's what, the, that's what the healing gloves are for. Yep. No one told you you could die. I was just taking a nap. Try not to oh. try not to let it pound you into the dirt. Uh, it's bad. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll get right on that. Uh, the one that got hit by the flaming crossbow bolt is going to move forward and then fling a bramble at Professor. I will uh, let Moot Point know, by the way, about the weak to fire little guys. Okay. All right. Uh, that will miss. Uh, this guy. How smart are they? Oh, they're pretty smart. This guy's going to target the healer and direct con breaking of the Geneva Convention. Aim. You gank the healer first. Also, not firing on parachuters. Well, that should actually be a 19, but I don't miss Snow Maple. Yes, it will. He'll move. Does he move or does he teleport? The weirdo. He moves. Okay. Takes considerable concentration from the teleport. Link from tree to tree. Yeah, but he will attack a second time. So yeah, a couple of brambles come uh, flinging your way there, Snow Maple, as this uh, twig jack moves and fires. Okay. Uh, that will take us to Moot Point. Uh, and for your spell, does it say, does the elemental get his own initiative or does he go on yours? Uh, I don't think it even says. Um, the way summon spells work, uh, Moot Point would use an action to sustain it. Right. And that counts as commanding a minion. Right, so you use one action, he gets two actions. Yeah, exactly. Like crotch. All right, so I'm using one action to tell him to go play with Twig Jack. Not as cool as Gratch, though. I mean, obviously not. Right. I, I mean, it's kind of cool. I will use one action kind to of. move by Twig Jack. Okay. Still invisible. And uh, I stay invisible until I do something offensive, so I'm going to cast shield on myself as well. Okay. And... Twig Jack's going to, uh, I guess, maul this, uh, or the uh, elemental's going to maul the twig. 
Alright, so he's going to use his claws. He's going to pick it up uh, with his cute little hands. <laughs> Pull it apart. I think with one move action, it could move to the opposite side of moot point to flank it. Otter versus sticks. Uh, oh, actually, it's in molten form. Cool. Yeah. So that being the case, uh, oh no, I won't do that because you're right next to it. But yeah, it does have enough movement to move there. I think. That's not smart enough to do that. All right. Uh, that will take us to Father Liam. Okay. Poor old flower is getting pommeled. Uh, I'm going to stride. Twenty feet. I'm going to lay on hands, flower. Or 12, and then I'm going to raise my shield. Okay. All right. Oh, Flower gets t plus two AC as well. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, Lay on Hands is pretty awesome. It, it's not a big heal like the two cast heal spell, but. Uh, that will take us to Traxton. All right. Uh, one action for support and then a twin takedown on this scythe tree. Okay. Before I go into Napland, like flower over there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Targeting. Twenty-two is a miss. Oh well. Twenty-two is a miss. Twenty-two yep. is a miss. Second attack. Nope. There's another miss. Uh, let's let's re-roll that one. See what happens. Hero point. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and I'm going to do the um, third action is going to be an attack as well. Okay. So the real bad bonus. Rolling. I don't think this has a chance. No, it doesn't. Yeah, worth a try, though. Right. Yeah. So uh, as a reaction, uh, uh -oh. it is going to try to disarm you. Oh, sure. Uh, 26. Uh, and your athletics. All right, so not a critical success. So um, until the start of your next turn, you're at a minus two um, with that action, with the, the hatchet. With one of the strikes? Uh, like basically, at the... If, if you make an attack of opportunity or anything, you'd be at the minus two with the hatchet, but at the start of your turn, you manage to like readjust your grip. Disarm isn't great oh. unless you critically succeed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Or unless you have like a bunch of actions. Uh, the Professor. Yeah. Um, I will... One action, reload. Second action, move. Up to there, and my third action will be another flaming crossbow bolt at this twig jack. Okay. Ooh, 
Oof. All right. Well, that's me. Okay, not our day. No hero point. I'm out. Uh, flower, you're up. So, what, one action to get up. Yep. Uh, and, and when you go prone to, you drop your weapon. So. Yeah. So, one action to get up, one action to, to pick uh, up your pick weapon. Pick up the weapon, and I am going to. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna swing. Okay, one sec That's here. All I can really do. Okay. I took off your prone, so you should be good there. Awesome. So its reaction is a disarm that it does. Its reaction is a disarm. Gotcha. Shit. This thing's got some AC, right? I fucking hate this thing, like, so much. Uh, that will take it to its turn. Stupid tree. So it's gonna move, uh, ever so slightly. And with great malicious intent, intent is attacking the father. Oh, it's got a brain. Oh, yeah. Rolls a four, gets a twenty-two. It's fine. Ah, uh, but it misses. Yeah, oh, that shield just earned its keep. <laughs> yeah. there. Uh, but yes, it definitely turns his attention with a great deal of maliciousness towards like the healer if it had more actions it would probably attack snow maple as well but holy holy paladinness and chaotic evil do not mix right i'm just gonna get to the other side of it oh, it is still on fire ah good burn baby burn uh you do have to make an uh, acrobatics to tumble through its space i've got enough speed to just walk around it i think uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, you're fast enough. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna do a twin takedown. Okay. Or double faint. Oh yeah, do, uh, twin faint. That's what. It, that's what it is. Yep. It's just different than what. Uh... Don't steal my thing, man. Sorry. It's all good. Honestly, I'm probably gonna swap that out uh, later, but we'll see. Uh, so should be flanking with flower. Yep. That's a hit. Okay. You do you do dig into it. It does seem like the bark is fairly tough and resistant, but you do actually bite it. Ah, one hit is all I'm allowed. Hey, we'll take it. At least you get one. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's three actions. All right. Okay. Done. All right. Uh, oh, uh, Twig Jack. Twig Jack has a lava otter up in his face. <laughs> he does not like the Bernie Bernie. It's a tiny fight. He, he does not. God damn. Twig Jack shows violence. Uh oh. Be strong, little otter. All right. So it does lash out, but it does take one point of fire damage, uh, which triggers his weakness. Oh no. No, that's good. That's good. So yeah. So the twig deck lashes out this lava otter and then like pulls back like it's like burning, smoking like claws. Yeah. Thanks. That's the cutest death ever. Perhaps that was not the best idea. The tiniest kaiju fight. Right. <laughs> They're adorable. Yeah, like a little plant creature versus like lava otter. Uh, otter versus the, stick. This toy jack is going to move forward. It is going to attack the uh, professor. Because professor has burny things. Wow. 
Fire bad. It's a 25 to hit the professor. Oh, yeah. I mean, normally I would say fire bad, tree pretty, but this doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be appropriate. Not fully applicable, nope. No. Uh, it's only six damage to the professor. Uh, and it's next action. Uh, it'll throw uh throw some brambles at the lava otter too. Remember not to run too far away from your healer, professor. Yeah, prof, you're a little too far away. Uh, Don't die, hits. Otto. Otto the otter. Oh no. Oh, if these twig jacks kill the little otter, it's gonna be over for them. And he did. Oh god. It's on now. You right. killed the otter. I'll make more. Killed First the otter. With extreme prejudice. All right, uh, Moot Pint, your otter beside you just explodes. Okay, I'm going to... I think I can do this while staying in the same uh, uh, zone. But I kind of want to get a line to hit Twig Jack and the uh, Sky Tree okay. with a 30-foot range, 30-foot line. Yeah, you'd have to be Maybe just here. right there. Sure. Twig Jack kills... Yep. Or kills otter move past yeah and i will move. cast uh grim tendrils Ooh. so oh, i can hit both of them. he's used that one before he used it on the giants didn't he did he i don't remember yeah 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 remember yeah when that was the, against uh we were in the, the 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 palace there and the the lady was fighting the two giants and yeah move pint went up to help her they just ignored everything we did yeah <laughs> she, she had it under control. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to hit anybody else except for... It's a line, so it doesn't have to be that wide. <laughs> Gratch should be all, all right. So firing his lasers. I, I hope so. Uh, fortitude save, though. That's probably the tree's going to make it. That's a nega beam there. All dark and stuff. Yeah, it's best not to think about that. Like, so they both succeed, so they're both going to take half damage. With a three. <laughs> Jeez. And I only did five damage. So they're each going to take half. Uh, oh, well. And that puts me visible again, which kind of sucks. Is that a cantrip or a level spell? That's it's a, a level spell. It's a level spell. Oof. Oof. Yeah, my thought too. Yeah, the big thing is like, is the uh, if they fail, they take uh, full damage and persistent bleed. And I'll put the that counts as a move, right? Shit. Yep. So I can't use my shield. Yeah. Yep. You are exposed. Uh, that will take us to Father Liam. Alrighty, so uh, lay on hands on flower. Okay. Because that's awesome. Lay on hands is the best thing. I use it all the time with barnacle. Often on you. <laughs> that's true. So 12 hit points. Okay. And then I'm going to... Keep turtling like a champ? Pretty much. Actually, I, I want to get... I don't have enough actions. But I got to get after you, pal. Um, I'm going to step. Okay. Here. And then I'm going to raise my shield. Okay. I, I have a plan, but if I had one more action, I could have... Done it this time, but I'll have to wait till next time. Uh, that will take us to Traxton. Right, let's move into this square. Perfect. Let's get some support and let's twin take down or at least attempt to do so. Right. Um, how do we, is it going to automatically handle that disarm shenanigans that happened last time? Uh, at the start of your turn, uh, you go back to normal. Oh, that's right, sorry. Yeah. 
If I did anything in the intervening time, right. Okay. Uh, attacking twice with hatchets. If we had a fighter and they had an opportunity to attack, it would be relevant. Now, mind you, I'm going to get one of those pretty soon, but yeah, right now, doesn't matter. You and me both, yeah. Uh, that, is a, that is a hit. Excellent. Damage coming in. Okay, and then uh, since you got support, that's a D8 yep. from Gratch. Make sure D8. Roger that. Rolling. It is badly injured now. Excellent. I'll see what my second attack does. Uh, and next attack. That is a miss. Miss. Uh, I'm going to try and I'll re roll that. Okay. Yeah, everybody just got a hero point, so. Oh, oh well. Perfect. Critical mess. And, and I moved. Yeah, okay, okay, that's it. Okay, it is going to try to disarm you with that axe. Sure. Nope. Critical failure. Oh, excellent. It'd look awesome if it did it. but It's true. Uh, but yeah, you do notice like if you overextend yourself or anything, it seems to lash out to try to disarm you. Uh, it's enough to tell you guys that it, its reaction only triggers if you critically fail a melee check. Um, um, okay. If the scythe tree critically failed to disarm, I think it's flat-footed. Uh, it is. Sorry, it is off guard. Off guard, oh, yes. yes. Uh, off that's guard. what it is. Legally distinct. That's right. So many statuses. Alright, uh, but that will take us to the professor. They had to change flat footed because. The... Oh, yeah. Well, they actually they found the wording of it was confusing because the person is not necessarily flat footed, they are off guard. And what if it doesn't have feet? Like this thing. Yep, that's why it is now off guard. Um, so action one is move. Uh, action two, reload. Action three, another uh, crossbow bolt on this twig jack. Oh come on! Just got a hero point. Dice yeah, I'll I'll, I'll hero time. point it. There hey, there we go. <laughs> and control held down. Sacred damage dice again. Sacred damage. Oh, that's yeah. a big secret. Uh, it is near death now. Oh, but not dead yet. God, these but things have hit points. It's twiggy life is flashing before its twiggy eyes. That's right. Super secret. Uh, that's my turn, though. Uh, that will take us to Flower. All right. Flower is going to the real man. But he, he but he's not very angry. He hates nope. this tree. And he doesn't He's not always angry, but when he is, he's angry at trees. He's going to dread marshal. Ooh, that is a success. So everybody who is within your aura gets uh, extra bonus dice. And he's going to swing on this motherfucker. <laughs> All right. That is a hit. 19. Ooh, big chop. So yeah, that cuts deep into the tree, like almost like severs off one of the one of the branches. Um, the, you know, the the mouth is kind of like gnashing its teeth towards you. You one hundred percent have its attention and have cut it very deeply. Flower's like frothing at the mouth at this point. He's like seeing red. Uh, that will take us to the tree. 
I mean, there's there's lots of blood on the field. The tree is going to return the favor. Come on. Oh. Oh. Flower. Again, come on. Then is going to hit the. Then is going to hit the healer. Ah. You get you get hit in Pathfinder. It's just what happens. Oh, you coward hurt me! Oh, I forgot to retarget, so no, that is actually against Flower. <laughs> yeah. You've got your wish! <laughs> Perfect! Come on! Do it again! Then I will remember to target the healer. Yeah. Which one? You. You holy oh. person. Hmm. Your mistake was leaving me alive. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> the healer, not the doctor. For uh, 19 damage on Father Liam. I can block that. I'm feeling great it's, about my career choices. The medic, not the doctor. The medic just makes you comfortable. The doctor actually heals. Everybody so, reaction heals. shield block? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why I get to select a shield when it's like you only have one shield. I think you only have oh. one shield. Maybe he's I got many I, shields. I no, think I only have one. Oh, it's because sturdy shield is on your character sheet twice. Oh. Uh, you got two sturdy shields. I, I mean, they're 100 gold apiece. I'd love to have two. Number one or number one two? One for each arm. I, I would do that, too. Be a fire giant. You gotta, yeah, you got to be a fire giant to make that happen. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, shield absorb is nine. You take ten, and shield is also damaged for ten. Is a sturdy shield a tower shield? Ah, uh, no. It's just uh, like well, our reinforced. Fire giant, I think a sturdy shield is whatever shield you want it to be, isn't it? Uh, yes. Well, I mean, a tower shield's a different thing. So. A fire giant, you'd need the, it'd be double tower shield. Uh, it is still on fire. Ooh, love it. All right. Mm. Uh, and that will take us to snow maple. All right. Uh, I can make my short sword do slashing damage, so I'll attack with that this time. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. Nice. Bound to happen. Now we're cooking. Yes. Down. Oof. Oh my god. Hello. Okay. But the uh the fire damage isn't active on it yet, so it's oh, just Oh okay. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Sorry, I just hit the button. Yep. Uh but the fire damage was only uh four points of that total. Oh, oh. in that case, uh, snap. Yep. I'm gonna Thank go for the go for the heartwood. Yeah, you uh, did. so yeah, so uh All right, Snow Maple, how would you like to do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, like I said, uh, with the with the short sword, just drive it straight into the heartwood and twist. All right. Um, so yeah, as you do, there's this like this this scream of pain and anger um, uh, as this tree like just turns like blacker and blacker and blacker uh, before falling inert. And then you know, just plant both feet on it, and 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 yank the yank the shorts over there. Right. Uh, seeing this, uh, this twig jack. Gonna go home and retake his life. No, no sand person scream in triumph. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not, we're not those. Not that far gone yet. <laughs> you are a desert, a desert elf, though, aren't you? That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so as the uh, as the scythe tree dies, the uh, the two little uh, bramble spirits, the twig jacks, take off running through the underbrush. And they're like, nope, 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 nope. It boss is dead. Uh, I mean, that's good though. 
that will take us to moot point. Uh, what's left? Yeah. I mean, if you want to fire at a fleeing twig blade. Sure, I'll or fire up three bag. magic missiles. Right. Oh, that'll probably get it done. That, that's a little excessive, but that sure. Might. Is it? Is it? That's moot point, though. Things. Well, I, I, I guess it depends on the person. Hmm? I think it's too friendly. Uh, it's so one. Is that enough to kill it? Because it was pretty dead. Uh, nope. It is still alive. Number two? Ah, uh, kills that one. All right. Fired sword missile off of the other one, or are you just letting him go? Sure. I didn't know there was another one. I didn't see it on my map. Yeah. You're very tiny. Oops, sorry. That was burning hands. Uh, I hit the wrong. <laughs> if it hadn't moved, that's it was going to get that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that will take us to uh, Father Liam. I mean, I think this fight is done. Yeah, I'm just going to basically run through the initiative in case anybody wants to do anything. But uh, Let me see. I'm going to drop a two-point heal on Flower. Okay. Are, are, are these, uh, these these twig jack things, are they naturally uh, malicious? Uh, that would be a nature roll, actually. All right, I'll wait till my turn. Doing the same thing. Might as well pick my buddy up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do something. There's, yeah, there's so much, so much blood of brown flower. There really is. <laughs> if it matters, I'll raise the shield. Okay. Uh, that will take us to Traxton. All right, so you say a nature check to determine if these twig blades are malevolent or just misguided? Yep. Okay. I shall do so. Falling in with a bad crowd. Yeah. Uh, quick question, though, before I do. Does that take an... That's one action? It is yeah, It probably. is an action, yes. Okay, perfect. I just wanted to make sure what I had left. All right, nature check. Pretty much everything in this you want to do is an action. Yeah, I was just making sure it wasn't two. That's all. Uh... Skills a second ago. Here we go. Rolling. Uh, Sixteen. Um, yeah. And it's purely my my pure yeah. recollection on this is if they're natural or not. That's all I'm. Yeah. Wanting to know. Uh, you're not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case. Uh, I will quick draw and try and shoot it with the longbow. Okay. So, drop, drop. Apparently I hadn't picked it up yet again, so I pick it up and I shoot. Targeting. Ugh. I've got one action left, right? I could shoot one more time? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, uh, that will take us to the professor. Um, I think I'm going to delay for now. Alright, perfect. Does anybody else want to do anything, or is... Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Flowers, um, man. Flowers sudden charging straight to it. Okay. <laughs> he needs to murder something. Oh, absolutely. Like, one yeah. of these things shot him in the face, and it was like a bird shot. It literally, so it, literally, it was that one that shot you in the face. Yeah. Yeah, he's, like... he, he, he remembers. The big monster's gone now. This guy has his ire. I feel you on that one. Uh, 20 is it. Damn it. 
Still have one action left. I'll swing again. There you go. Oh no. Oh yeah. Fantastic. So I don't think you had another action, but you're gonna kill it anyway. It's not gonna be able to get away at this point. So he he'll be he'll pretty much be sticking with it, just swinging as he's going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and snow maple's real fast in a foot race. That's true. So yes, between the two of you, you can hunt this thing down and and kill it. And he was raging anyway. There's no stopping him until he's yeah. done. Yeah. So that's right. There's sure. there's no reasoning with him. No. no, it's like, there's no leave it alone, it's harmless now. No, no, this thing shot him in the face, it's dying. So no, maybe we'll, we'll hold back and make sure that the flower gets the, the finishing blow. Alright. Just to just to hopefully quench his ire. Perfect. Um, and yes, and as you guys uh, defeat these uh, twig jacks on this site like, three, um, it's still, I mean, the, the area is still kind of gloomy and everything, but um, you, you're confident that the, the creature that had blighted this area is no more. Awesome. Uh, have a look around, see if there's anything to be salvaged from the situation. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, perception roll. I'm going to gather up the, the remains of the twig blights and put them on the uh, Scythe tree and make sure it all burns to ash. Okay, because, yeah, the Scythe tree is still on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I was going to say, we're, we're, we'll make it a fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, Snow Maple, as you look around, amongst the amongst the bones and everything, there's like there's a couple of gold pieces here and there. One of them has a silver ring, uh, but underneath, like kind of trapped in the roots of the scythe tree, mm -hmm. uh, are three pieces of amber and a uh, and a scarf. Awesome. Yeah, uh, totally take all that stuff. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, let's make a fire. Yeah, the the scythe tree is literally still on fire from the alchemical fire, so it's not difficult at all to make a fire. Yeah, it would just yep. fan the flames. Yep. Can so I, all this is gonna go. Can just I take it. that um that piece of heartwood that I cut out, Chris? Sure. Just to, to show uh Teresa? Absolutely. Yeah, just make sure we have you know something to something to show for it. Is it is it inert though? Ah, uh, it is very much dead. Okay, perfect. I'll sniff it. Yeah. Well, that could have been worse. While well, um, it hit while like a are... oh, oh, yeah. I felt it. I, I did not want to be hit by it, but you did great, Flower. Good job. Someone's got to do it. Getting run over. Has anyone points. talked to you about, you know, maybe having metal between you and your opponents? But... I like to feel loose. I don't know how much difference that would make against a 20 foot tree, but. Yeah, I mean, it worked for me, but. Shrug. I don't know. I don't know about that. As Traxton stares at the giant dent in your shield, because it was only the last two. <laughs> Tag you, you pretty good that one time. Chris, two AC. Were, are barbarians and Pathfinder able to wear heavy armor? Uh, you would need to pick up training in the in the okay. proficiency with it. For now, I, I like the feeling, like of you know, feel a little <laughs> free, you know. Um. Would it even increase his armor class very much? Um, probably not. So I'm currently at 20. Yeah, like most of the armors, with the exception of full plate, most of the armors tend to tap out or come out to like a, a plus five bonus, um, counting either the armor or your dexterity, whichever. So like leather armor is plus one, but up to a plus four dex bonus. So they always equal out to about a plus five it's really your training and then the runes you put on it and eventually your your proficiency with armor goes up but it's just the armors that your class has right exactly mm -hmm. yeah 
uh, and certain points too, uh, some classes get um, critical specialization or armor specialization, which uh, adds on different things onto the armor they're proficient in. Be real mm. quick, like like he's wearing a breastplate. Yep. Oh, okay. He does have some metal armor. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is metal. It's just it's not full. Yeah. No sleeves or anything like that. I, just to... just from what I tend to gather about the game is you you're you're better off wearing the the armor that your class is supposed to be wearing, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I like to think yeah. flower. It's like a, like a plate cut off. <laughs> so, oh, it was plate mail, but you just took the chess piece. Pretty much. It, it's yeah, really I'm, just it's really based on your dex, right? So, whatever your dex is, you take the armor that gives you the best bonus with your deck. Yeah. Flower looked at Flower looked at the suit of plate and said, "Sun's out, guns out." Yeah, I'm gonna take the this <laughs> this bit. Yeah. I was gonna say you like to feel the wind in your chest hair, but you're wearing Pretty. a breastplate, so it it goes through like where the arms come out. Fair. <laughs> in your in your pit hair. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's put everyone back together. And then we'll deal with the trade, the deal with the lake, the deal with the people, right? Well, we've already got a campfire started, so. Kill the tree to get the trees to get the people. Yep. Okay. I mean, it sounds really a roundabout way to do things when you talk about it like that, but, you know, we did it. We have to go where the expertise is. Oh, oh, such healing, Traxon. You're such healing. you're all you're all set, pal. Yeah, I'm, I imagine oh, between oh. battle healing and lay on hands and good berry, we can. I got concerned there for a moment. Yeah, you can get everybody. Yeah, between between the various healing things you have, you guys have no right. problem as as long as nothing interrupts you. Uh, you guys have no problem healing back. I was just making the rolls to be for, uh, perfunctory. Absolutely. Just, yeah. just in case. And I, I love the fact that every time there's like, oh, I'll do battle healing. Oh, critical success. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll plus, also, uh, plus 11 on a DC 15 is pretty good. That's right. I'll, I'll bang out the dent in Father's shield as well. Okay. Oh, thanks. Shield's very expensive, so making sure Our, it stays up to snuff is important. Power puts the axe away, takes back the takes the eye beam back out. I missed you. <laughs> Ash is uh, just gonna gra gather up a handful of ashes of this this fire before we leave. Okay. All right, we'll get the rest sorted out. Uh, actually, uh, Father Hall can probably. Take care of the rest of Flower's injuries with his uh, jazz hands. Yeah, I just take some time. Good touch. Yeah. And church is always welcome for donations. Yeah. <laughs> Pay my tribute in blood. It's just it's all over the place, really. <laughs> I mean, help just, yourself. Yeah, yeah, just take a look. And, there, and uh, Jonathan, I've just moved the shield over to you so you can repair it. Cool. Uh, but yes, you guys, um, kind of looking. It is, by the time you're done this uh, this fight and patrolling the area and getting healed up and stuff, it is, uh, it is dark. Uh, if you guys want to camp out here, you certainly can. Take a, yeah, I mean... We're not going to run into anything here, right? That's Yeah, that seems to be our MO. We go yeah. and take care of a thing, camp oh, where, it, where it lived. Oh, prof, Good thank you. Good job. You know, I think I think it's better than when I built it. I, I, I like the filigree you put on it. I, I don't know where you got the gold. To... It was it was so dented, he just put the, he just took the strap off and put it on the other side. Got, it's got like under lights <laughs> and a, like a fin on the back now. As Bluetooth speakers built in. Yeah, Sub <laughs> subwoofers. Very <laughs> impressive. He can blast his battle hymns as we go. Yeah. <laughs> Doubles as a pulpit. Mm. 
at, at some point you, you just heal it too much that it generates a whole other shield. You, That's what I was about I, to say. I fixed I fixed it so much I got two out of it. Yeah. yeah. I don't <laughs> know how that happened. That's why there's two on the sheet. Dropped it on the ground and then uh, held a gold piece in my hand and picked it back up and turned it into another shield. Yep. Evercate right there. Went right. right to the edge of the screen. Um, so as you guys uh, kind of rest and relax, um, Snow Maple, you like pull out this like very fancy scarf. It's got like tassels and everything made out of fine silk. Uh, probably, probably actually kept from Catapesh. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Uh, and assuming normal exploration, uh, Moot Pint, you are picking up magic within 30 feet. Oh. Yeah, we have this uh, cool, uh, I think it's a, it might be, a, you could wear it as a sash or a belt, maybe. Um, but it's it's probably magical. Uh, I will cast Approximate to see if there's any magical uh, sashes. Um... Approximate will tell you the instant estimate of chosen objects. Uh, so it'll tell you that there are sashes. But not magic sashes. Okay. Because no, it doesn't detect magic. You need, uh, you need to use... Read Aura? Or read Aura. It's a, yeah. yeah. It's more like a stock-taking spell. I have that. Uh, yes, it is, uh, it is magical. It actually has a little minor illusion enchantment on it. Nice. Um, and once you know it's magical, you can make an Arcana check. Can I aid to the Arcana check? Uh, oh, well. well, hero point that. <laughs> uh, is there a button for hero point? Because I don't see one. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. If it... it's, in the, it's in the drop down menu. Yeah, if you uh, right click the 12, one of the options will be reroll using a hero point. Yeah. That's much better. Much better. All right. Uh, so yeah, so as you uh, take a look at the scarf and kind of play with it, um, you find it kind of like helps you to helps you to come up with the words and stuff <laughs> as you're telling one of your uh, one of your uh, ever famous campfire stories. Oh God, no! Oh, nice. Um, and then oh, when you kind of like like flourish it after you've done so, uh, you become harder to see. Uh, it is what's referred to as a dancing scarf. Oh, that sounds oh. like something we should give a bird. We don't have a bird. Mm. We have a desert elf, though. Yeah, let's give it to a desert elf. Uh, Snow maple dance. I mean, whatever stops the stories. Oh, you snow, don't look like Lita from ElfQuest at all. Snow maple talk to people and disappear? Yeah. That's a great idea, in my opinion. Yep. So, it is a long and billowy scarf, woven of silk, and adorned with bells and jangly, shiny bits of metal. It gives a plus one bonus to performance. Uh, and then, as an action, uh, if your most recent action, you succeeded at a performance check to dance, you become concealed until the beginning of your next turn. Ooh, yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not proficient in, in performance. Yeah. I yeah, love how it's great. like it has bells on it, but you become fucking invisible. <laughs> so maybe, shocking maybe, nobody. Maybe. I have no performance skills, so yeah. <laughs> somebody else can have that. Same here. Maybe we hold it on to for Lindsay. Yeah. Give it yeah. Give yeah. I think Lindsay would like it. Give her maybe. a present. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, it no is it is worth here. sixty gold. Yeah. Or that we can sell it. Too. Yeah, but what's the what's the goodwill from Lindsay worth from giving her this awesome? Oh, that, yeah, that's I fair too. A lot more than sixty gold, in my opinion. Is it? We'll see what the state of things is like when we get back to Layton. It is. Maybe. We're good people. Remember that. Yeah. We like our friends. We do. Yep. I right. just also really help. like money. Um, that, that too. People share sure what they that. get, right? Hey, man, she's been doing a good job for us. Hard work brings wealth. Wealth brings happiness. We'll, we'll see if the we'll see if the city's on fire when we get back to town. That too. Uh, yeah, I, f yep. I feel like that's that's going to be the deciding factor, really. That too. Yeah. That, that's fair. Yeah. And if indeed that is the case, then I feel like a bandana reward is appropriate. Oh, it's nice for sure. Yeah, I mean, she 
done a good job, did hard work, should be yep. rewarded. Yeah. I mean, hopefully tomorrow we should be able to to wrap this all up. It's better to be loved than feared or respected, in my opinion. Well. Just the way Traxton looks at it, that's all. You, why not both? Yep. Um, sure. Carrot book, and stick, that's all I'm saying. The book is kind of... Yeah. Mm. All right. All right, so... Uh, let's head for Teresa, and then we'll double back to the to the river. Right. Let her yep. know... Uh, let her know the scythe tree is dead and see what, how she wants to handle um, tree growing. Okay. Uh, perfect. So yeah, so um, traveling back to uh, Teresia's Grove is no big thing. You guys have horses. It takes you it takes you like, you know, half a day or so to, to get there. Yeah, um, hopefully we can get back to the river before nightfall. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal. Uh, yeah, you figure, I mean, stop off at Hergrove and then get back to uh, Meliance's. It'll probably be nightfall when you get there, but you'll be there. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, uh, get this whole thing sorted out today would be ideal. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Uh, and when you get back to, uh, to Teresia's Grove, she's basically having like a little picnic with what looks to be uh, a, a satyr. Oh, great. Hmm. Uh, you, sorry to interrupt. Uh, but, oh, no, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I we, assume we, things... We took care of the Scythe tree. That is, uh, that is excellent. Uh, I, was, I was truly afraid that it would come here. They have a particular appetite for dryad flesh. Uh, no longer I, a concern. Uh, and I will show her the, uh, the piece of heartwood as, as proof. We we burned uh, all the all the other remains onto ash. Oh, hopefully the fire didn't spread. Not oh no, all. we we stayed the we stayed there the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Well, you are uh, truly truly valiant, and uh, I believe it is customary we... for uh, for valiant warriors and guardians to receive treasure. Oh, uh, thank you very much. I like how Snow Maple seems surprised. Yeah, that's Snow Maple's favorite word. <laughs> Treasure, you say? Treasure, really? <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't seem too eager. The sparkle right? in the eyes there, though, for sure. <laughs> um, so Can we get that treasure in uh, in trees? Trees, yeah. I do have such a thing. Uh, and she goes over to her oak tree and she kind of waves her hand and like an opening comes in and she pulls out uh, five feathers and a uh, a very, very healthy looking um, bough of mistletoe. Oh, thank you. It's like these, uh, these should, uh, should help. Uh, I understand that you've done, uh, done much to train the people working for you on proper cultivation and it is appreciated um yes. we've done our best to establish uh, a healthy coexistence to to that point what would you feel would be your oh, forgive me home range here like fr boundaries from, from where to where would we oh move i just our attention uh, to my tree, I cannot, uh, I cannot leave it. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, as long as the land is respected, uh, I don't lay claim to anything. Oh, good. Excellent. Um, is is her tree pretty distinctive, Chris, or is it just a? Yeah, it's like a, it's a, a very big, very old oak tree. Okay, perfect. Uh, every lumberjack in our kingdom will know uh, not to. Um, approach your tree with that intent well, thank you uh, and I will should someone come by who does not know I will 
be gentle in reminding them. Yeah, yeah. Warning. Uh, warning shots are great. Well, I would just talk to them, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that, yes, that works too. Preferably, yes. Hall's looking at this tree going, that's a 2,000 gold piece. Oh, God. please. Oh, God. There, there are plenty of others. Could make a guy in a... Please don't feel that you, you can't protect yourself, though. Make sure you... Don't let any harm come to the tree, if that's the case. Right. And the, the Sadro kind of get up to his feet. It's like, we will we will protect our home. He kind of like reaches out and holds her hand. Apparently the two of them are in item. Uh, is, is there anything she can do with this uh, piece of uh, heartwood uh, sliver? Uh, no, and I would prefer not. It is... You, sad... you mentioned it was corrupted. It is Painted. sadly corrupt. Yeah, okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you had evidence of our uh, accomplishment. And that is, a, that is appreciated. Um, but you seem to be respectful and honorable. Uh, okay. And I understand... Um, I understand that you lay claim to this land in a fashion. And I have no quarrel with that. Excellent. I hope we can be uh, neighbors. Uh, of course. And uh, I just ask that you don't build anything near here. But in exchange, um, myself and the, the local Fay will assist you. Well, thank you very much. That's great. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Can I, can I ask you something? Certainly. Have you ever heard of a disease where plants infect animals? Uh, there are many parasites that do. Oh, do I'll we still give... have any of that? No, we uh, the seed I, I burned on the cold iron knife, so that's the only part I took. Right. But if uh, it is infecting, it is parasitical in nature. Right, and... and... Traxon would just say he would give a general idea of like what we encountered and and where it was like on the other side basically of the where tusk water. was it was it near the near the, the lonely barrel yeah in that yeah. area yeah okay yeah um and he concerned. describes it as best he can yeah uh, but i will uh, i will keep my eye out for any such infestations if we if we if we were able to to take a sample and and, and bring it to you, you think you could have a look at it? I would rather not. If it is a parasite that infects plants, I would rather oh. keep my distance. Uh, very well. Yeah, that's it, it, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, but, forgive if I. If, sorry, I, he would say, forgive if I made a confusion. It was a plant infecting animals. Uh, I would still rather be careful. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, nobody wants an invasive species, right? Mm hmm Yes. Uh, but would you care to join us for lunch, or are you on your way? We really I'm, should be I mean, going, I think. People to rescue. Yeah, we, we're... we're <laughs> yeah. Flower, flower looks down for a moment. She's like, oh... <laughs> well, if the flower is going to be disappointed, we'll, we'll, we'll stay. I can yeah, maybe, a, maybe a quick bite. We do uh, have one thing we have to do. I do. I can. I can pack up some lunch for you. If oh, that'd be that'd be the best of both worlds. Thank you very much. You've been yeah. very accommodating. It's gonna say my familiar would make sad noises too if we had to not have lunch. Does he eat? No, but he likes this. He likes this place. It's all plant. Plant okay. area, you know, right? I get it. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't eat, but he does like appreciating flavors. I like plant lady. But. We Trans have people to save, like but too. we could stop for food. It's fine. It's true. But we we have to get rid of the heartwood. You get, you, yeah, well. you got to keep morale up. Uh, yeah, no, I'll just uh, I'll just take the the little bit of heartwood and and, and toss it at our next campfire. Uh, you can just hand it on over, and I can burn it right now if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, we'll uh, do it on this campfire. Yeah. I just no, well, no, I'll hold it in hand and just produce flame, and it 
burns in my hand away to ash. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah, and as you do, there is a there's kind of like a sense like like it wasn't like a feeling of like corruption or thing, but there is definitely like a, a sense of ease that uh, that kind of settles upon you. Uh, feeling of rightness. Yeah, specifically on Traxton, not on everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Your little lushy familiar kind of gives you the thumbs up. Yeah, I just give him a little, give her a little nod. Snow Maple maybe has a few uh, holdover tendencies from her uh, mercenary days. Hall will give Traxton a thumbs up. Make sure you bring back a trophy or it doesn't count. Good. Power kind stairs. Of, that kind of thing. Pro Bad oh, tree's going to die, right? Proof of death is a valid thing in my opinion too, yeah. Power stairs blank-mindedly not even really acknowledging what just happened. Um, I was like, ooh, jam. <sighs> okay, ooh, Flower. Jam. We're going to eat, the then we're going to go back to the pond, okay? Sorry. It, it was like, it's like, oh, fire. Okay, it's just tracks and doing things. Eating. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Soup, look. There, there's oh. food. <laughs> Burn wood, sleep. Eat, wake. Right. Uh, but yeah, over the course of time, as you talk, um, she does offer to keep an eye on the on the border and have uh, the fae and the animals kind of keep an eye as well. Oh, beautiful. Cool. Uh, she does uh, let you can know we... that uh, the can... area borders troll lands. Yeah. Right. Can we can we warn her about the trolls? Oh, she seems to know. She tells yeah, us. And just yeah. make sure she's aware that the trolls and we're concerned about it. They're on the move. Uh, maybe she could send word along uh, about trolls if they if they you know threaten the area. Yep. Uh, yeah. Of we, course. We didn't we didn't have any specifics about where they were. Do you maybe have a more have a better idea than we do? They they travel through the through the narrow marches through the swamps. Uh, I've seen them mm -hmm. closer to the border than. They usually come. Uh, oh, Traxton, that mistletoe kicks ass. I hope it does. So yeah, the uh, the primeval mistletoe, uh, whoever's holding it gets plus one to nature checks. Um, once per ten minutes, you can squeeze one of the berries onto a club that you're holding and uh, turn the club into, as per the shillelagh spell. <laughs> yes, please. And uh, once per day, uh, when you uh, when you're touching a tree, or uh, you can basically cast a tree shape on yourself once per day to turn yourself into a tree. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah that's Traxons, right? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, cool. uh, mistletoe is holy symbol for druids too, right? Isn't it? It is. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, mechanically speaking, as long as you guys do not build anything here. Uh, it gives you a plus two circumstance bonus for uh, to uh, resolve dangerous kingdom events that happen in the zone. Ooh. All right, oh, well, fuck yeah. can we put uh, a, can we put a token on the map or something? This this might be our first nature reserve then. This is yeah. for sure because yeah. we discussed that before. Remember? Yeah, we were originally going to do it at like the the, the the gremlin tree, right? Right in, back in the day, yeah. Yeah, back when we were first talking about it. That's also a cool spot, too. That's pretty cool. It's actually I'll, really great. I'll probably be coming back here in my downtime. Tell her all about that giant tree if she doesn't know about it, too. Seems like a great idea. Yep. It's the beginning of a wonderful partnership. So going to cut that tree down. Agreed. Uh, I will kill you in your sleep. I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Just so we're, we're all, we all know the consequences of how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> she fed me. I will kill you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that tree is worth 200 gold. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, she gave us uh, the mistletoe, and that's worth 230 gold, so. Yeah, yeah let's fair. keep her on our side. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, for sure. Be pretty She's good. effectively already, She's... Already, already bought her tree from us. You know. She's probably one of the better allies we've ran into in a while. Ah, oh, kobolds are kobolds are paying their worth. That's for sure. Yeah, but that's why I say in a while we ran into yeah. a kobold yeah, a yeah. long time ago. Yeah. And we had to schmooze them a bit, though. I feel like this. We did. She she's much more personable than the. Well, well, with the kobolds, it was kill this guy. With her, it was kill this tree. Well, yeah, I think it's, that it's been transactional. Well, that and we also. We also happen to have their statue, I think, was a big yeah. bonus, too, right? 
That definitely got us in the door, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of opened the way, and then the discussions was like... All right, uh, have a quick snack, and then uh, we'll head back to Millicent's uh, uh, um, little, little camp. Before we leave, I'm going to introduce myself to the Seder. Um, does he have a name? He does. His name is... One sec. Yep. And does he seem armed? Like, is he the is he the, is he the muscle and she's the brain sort of thing? Uh, no, he has, like, his set of pipes. His name is Falchus. Gotcha. Falchus. Got yeah. Um, but yes, uh, Traxon, you're aware that neither one of them is armed, uh, mm -hmm. but... They don't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like a, 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 dry, a, a dryad in the woods is not somebody that you necessarily want to be on the bad side of. No. Imagine the trees come and beat I feel that you. went. I feel that went like really well. Yeah. Right. Our interactions with her. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, I'm like. When it comes to pissing five off stars a dryad, across the board. Yeah. When it comes I'm to liking to her a lot. A dryad, if I spend a lot of time in this area for sure. Right, and then you make your way back to Meliance. Meliance, yeah. yes. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, as you guys arrive there, it is uh, it is getting on towards dark. She's like splashing in the water, playing. You know. Hello. She's coming. She kind of comes back. She's like, and she uh, basically uh, before you guys get to the shore, she like comes closer to the shore than you've ever seen her. And she puts like a little, like a, a like a, a wet rock on the shore, and then kind of swims back and like looks at Stone Maple, says, "That's for you. You have your own. Now you can leave mine alone." Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, we've got good, we've got good, good news for you. You found trees. We found some trees. Where do you want them? <sighs> and she'll just yell out to her her two uh, enslaved people, it's like, "Show them where the trees go." And the two lumberjacks just like kind of mindlessly just like go over and point to the places where the trees get planted. All right. How many how many uh, trees do we use up? Uh, she wants uh, recompense for three. Oh, so let's say we plant three. Yeah, uh, in the effort in in the in the, uh, the interest. Um, interest of 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 good relations. Yeah. Perfect. Continued peace. Perfect. And as you like, put the feather down in the ground. It's literally like, jump back so you don't end up at the top of the tree. Ooh, I want to do one. Yeah, yeah, sure. What's this river stone that you gave me? Uh, it's literally just a wet rock off the bottom of the river. Oh. As you implied, is it, is about it, a river stone. Is it pleasingly shaped? Uh, moderately. I'll tuck it in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Trophy for our journey. Part of being yeah. insult not to. Uh, it seems more like she's bribing you to leave her river rock alone, since you alluded that uh, it was worth value. <laughs> you uh, alluded that she that you knew about the river rock. <laughs> okay. We're... You have your own. You don't need to steal hers. But we took care of the we took care of the the scythe tree, you know. Destruction. Nothing nothing bad happened. Oh, how, how are things here? Uh, good, good. Um, and my trees are back. Uh, and she yeah. just kind of like waves her hand, and the 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 lumberjacks kind of like blink their eyes and like. Where? Snap out of it. Yeah, kind of snap out of it. Where are we? Yeah. Why are we wet? Where's our clothes? Just, just come over here. It's fine. Yep. Well, we'll get you You're some. New okay. Clothes. One home now, bud. Yeah, time to dry out. Great abs, by the way. You've been working <laughs> out. I feel like yeah. yeah, I'm tired. You're built like a swimmer. I gotta figure out your workout regimen. It's a, it's a swim for a week, I think. Yeah, across a swimmer with a lumberjack. These guys are probably jacked. Oh, yeah, no way. <laughs> per perfect core, perfect like arms. I think that's pretty close to the uh, Johnny Westmeyer of like the Tarzan in like the 1930s. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, like an Olympic swimmer and a, body and a bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Uh, but she will she will kind of swim closer to Moot Point, and she's like, I can I can teach you how to do that. Well, I think I'm okay right now, but what did you mean about it not being my fault? Everything went well. Oh, I, I meant in general. Oh, uh, can you elaborate? It's going to be vague and cryptic. It's fine. It's... Uh, no, that works. I, I can't because uh, I, I don't want her to be mad. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's, she's kind of mad all the time. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know any better. Any advice? No. But it, it has been a pleasure knowing you. Uh, Wait, uh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks knowing you too. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. And then the oh, pond no. rises up and... No. Wait, that came out wrong. I, I am pleased to have met you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moopine will just walk away dejected. <laughs> we all look over real quick. It's like what? Uh yeah. Dang. That didn't go well. Can I can I talk to, to Millicent for a minute before we before we maybe head out? How many how many feather trees do we have? Five? We had uh, five. We used up three. Yeah. Can I hold the other two? That's all right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I think uh, I think the professor might want one to to study. Oh right, sure. Yeah, Traxton. I think this might be the breakthrough I was looking for to get what we were talking about before. This this could work. Yeah, I, I just want to I just want to check in with with Millicent for a sec before yep. we. Yeah. Like we're cool, right? We're we're good. You gave me back my trees. All right, so so we're friends now, right? Uh huh. Um, so yeah, just so there, there aren't any future problems, um, when, when, like, I understand that you're very powerful and, and very magical and that's very cool and everything. Um, but, um, mind controlling weak will little humans like this is considered to be rude. But what if I teach you how to do it? Sold. <laughs> no. I mean, I appreciate the offer. Uh, I'll probably pass, but thank you very much. But I just, I just want you to know to avoid future um, miscommunications. Well, it takes a long time to cast, so. Right. Was there, was there anyone else that you taught this to? No. Okay. You haven't seen any any funny humans with flamboyant hats and poofy shirts? No, but that sounds cool. Uh, if you do have any trouble, um, you know, since we're friends, feel free to send word to us and, and, and we'll come and, and see if we can help. Because we're friends. Okay, and if I see anything bad, then I'll tell you. Yeah. Please. And trolls, yeah. And tro if, oh, if there's trolls, trolls, we we want to know, please. Yeah, trolls are bad. They're, trolls are they're bad. quite rude. They're on the move in the west and the east. Yeah, trolls to the left, trolls to the right, and here we are, stuck in the middle. So I it's will, I will, I will tell you if I see anything, and especially trolls. Yeah. And uh, uh, Traxton uh, it might come visit you occasionally because he, he, he's taken quite a liking to Teresa. Mm. Just as long as it's not too nice because her boyfriend can be mean. Right. Yeah, we'll let him know. Okay, bye bye. And he like dives under the water. Well, I'm glad that didn't come to violence. I mean, there is some violence. I mean, not here, but... That, that tree had it coming. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so are you guys traveling on tonight, or are you guys camping here and heading out in the morning? 
Uh, it's pretty late at this point, isn't it? Uh, it is. It is definitely nighttime. Yeah, we should probably make camp here. Mm. Yep. See if we can scrounge these guys up some pants or something. Be good to get back to civilization. Well, uh, I'll use my spyglass. See if I can see smoke from here. Right. Layton should be that way, according to my compass. Yeah, it's a little too far to see with your spy glass. All right. <laughs> I mean, the river just, it, it's that way. Uh, but there is uh, one unexplored hex next to you that you could definitely peek at. Oh, and if that's uh, if that's on the offering, I'll, I'll definitely take that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one right there. Uh, I, I'll try here a point. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There Pete. we go. That's the money. That's much better. Yeah. Um, nice. So, yeah, I mean it's it is a distance and it is getting on towards dark, but as the uh, as the sun is starting to uh, starting to set, um, you can see on the banks of the river there there is uh, the the start of a small a small settlement. You see like. Uh, you know what looks like a little bit of a, a house and inn. Um, oh, that that's where... uh, that's our guy, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the that's the folks that you sent off with Amiri. Amiri's like, over there. God, oh, I right. wish we had more time. Yeah, I really feel like we need to get. Yeah, we need to make a point with this particular outing. But the night passes quietly because nothing is dumb enough to come into the Nixie Grove. Except us. Except us. A bunch of times now. Right. Uh, we're, we're pals now. It's, a, it's good. It's true. And we're buddy buddy. Uh, but yes, uh, as long as you don't build a settlement or a work site here, you can build other things, just not those two things. Uh, right. You will get a uh, plus two circumstance bonus for things made to resolve hex or settlement events in the zone. All right, let's see if we can find something to add to the map so that we remember that. I mean, we don't even own the hex yet, so. Not claimed yet, no. Uh, sorry, that was the effect for the. The hex that the dryads in the Nixie is that something different or? Uh, it's the same effect, but they're two different zones. Yeah, we oh. got that. We got double double hex action. Yeah, oh. we we want to own those hexes. We just don't want to build in those hexes. Right? Develop yeah. them. Yeah, we would yeah, like to. Much. We would like to incorporate them. Uh, it's a the national kingdom. park. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. A fey reserve, if you will. I wonder if we can build something like that. Uh, they are built in uh, in settlements. You can build parks, but you can build like a road through here and things like that. You just can't build like a work site or a settlement here. Otherwise, you'll right. get upset. Gotcha. I'll have to see if we can find something that's not one of those things. They are very anti campos They are. I gotta be RB. I'll be back in about two minutes. No worries. All right. Uh, so morning arises. It is uh, it is the middle of the week. You guys have been away for like three or four days now. So do we need to bring these guys back to Greenbelt Lumber? Uh, you probably should. It's on the yeah, way. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah, we got a bard to deal with, right? Plus, it's a big. It's a big. You know. Hey, look, we we brought them back. You know, kind of thing. Really yeah, breeze morale. Face. Mm. Uh, perfect. So yeah, so you guys are just going to head back to Layton. Yeah, we'll stop off at Greenbelt Lumber, make sure the our, our friends get uh, uh, returned and 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 resettled, and and make sure that uh, everybody there knows uh, to to mind their P's and Q's uh, in the nearby hexes. Yep. Okay. And specifically, what that involves, like giant oak tree, I leave exactly. it alone. That kind of stuff, yeah. And then we're gonna hang a bar. I mean, 
So, with the murder, nice. you're looking for right. trees to staple people to. You want to hang people. It's like while we're uh... while we're traveling, uh, Snow Maple. Do you think you could uh, take a peek to to Layton South? Yeah, sure. Get the old uh, the old spyglass going. Oh yeah, good, great idea. Okay. So down into this area. Yeah. Hopefully, nineteen's enough. Uh, so there, you do see a uh, what looks like a kind of along along the coast. Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of a, a swampy area, and there's like a little hut with like a bluish, uh, like smoke coming out of the, the chimney. Definitely, Ooh. definitely something. Somebody lives there. Yes. Hag hut detected. Hag hut. Nope. Possible location confirmed. Yeah. I feel like the blue smokes that did give away. Maybe that's racist. I don't know. Mm. No, I. I, I think that's fine. Like, it's definitely something spooky. It's whatever she's burning. Oh, it is oh. kind of tempting to go see the hag, but we should probably yeah. get back to town. We got to we got to get back. Like, I agree. yeah, we got to yeah. deal with this bird. I'd really like to check out the settlement on our outskirts, but but we really we really got to get back. New town, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. On the road again. So yeah, so I mean, another day or so of travel, dropping people off at the the lumber camp, making sure everybody understands to mind their p's and q's. Yeah. Um, and other than that, everybody's doing great. You know, I, I really want to. I really want to. You know, emphasize that. Yep. You kind of Agreed. emphasize, you know, it was an accident. Now we know. Mm -hmm. Perfect. See if we can schedule Corax for some sensitivity training. Right. The diversity seminar. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so another day, uh, Oath Day, you guys arrive back at, uh, at Layton. Uh, everything seems fine. Nothing's on fire. That's, um, that's a good, that's a good opener. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can see the, the, the warders are around. They're not out in force, but they're around. I mean, your entire capital is not that big. No. Uh, uh, and yeah, everything seems to be, everything seems to be fine. Make your way back to the town hall. Uh, Lindsay is there. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, good news, bad news, good news, good news. You want the good news first? Sandwich. Start with, start with the good news. Can you sandwich it? Sand oh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I was I was talking to some people and I let them know that you guys are are good people. And uh, you definitely are not the sort of people that would you know, go gallivanting about the countryside, filling your own pockets while uh, your citizens were being killed by horrible beasts or, or being missing. Uh, and uh, then I asked around some people and uh, he is definitely from Patax, uh, but I couldn't find out which guild sent him. I don't know. I don't know who sent him. No, that's good, though. Good job. Uh, and then I started talking to some people and uh, I got them to understand that um, maybe maybe this a guy from outside from Patax, maybe he has like ulterior motives and maybe he's just like saying things that aren't t true and uh, that maybe people shouldn't listen to him. Sounds great. Good job. I mean, I can only do so much. Right. But um, I think I think I have a I think I have a way to be able to do more but not right now like later much much later um but things things are going well uh valerie hasn't had to kill anybody and that's uh, great and yeah and we told people uh we told people you know that to, to not listen to everything that they hear unless i tell them what's the what's the what's the bad news then 
Uh, the bad news is he's definitely from Tax. Oh, okay. Oh. So, I mean, you, Lindsay, you mentioned that you don't know what guild he's from. Is Patax are guilds big there? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, when I left, there was, I think, nine. And are nine. these the sort of governmental bodies? Oh, uh, well, the king likes to think they are. Uh, and some of them are, and some of them aren't, and some of them work for the king, and some of them work against the king, and some of them want to take the throne, and some of them secretly want to take the throne, but wouldn't like let people know that they don't want the throne. Uh, it's a it's a mess. Yeah, Patek sounds like a fun place. Mm. And like the the king kind of like controls the guilds, but he doesn't control all of the guilds, and some of the guilds pretend like he controls them, but secretly he doesn't control them. It's yeah, I left. Yeah, we get the idea. Yeah, that that sounds like a lot. You were you part of Lindsay. any guild? Uh no, I uh, I talk too much in class and I ask too many questions, and so they uh, they uninvited me from their academy. But I'll show them. I will show them. I mean, uh, they no. will. <laughs> <laughs> how's your How's your dancing? Uh, uh... Lindsay? Uh, I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm not up on all of the latest dance steps because I haven't really had time to study because I've been busy kind of bragging up you guys. How would you like a fancy scarf? Uh, I will not say no to any sort of fancy clothes. You're dancing better. Even got I, I imagine Snow Maple, Snow Maple holds it up and then yeah. jingles the bells. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Ooh, it has bells, and she'll like she'll pretty much try to yoink it. Yeah, I, I think she did great. Uh, yeah. Held down the fort pretty good. Her yoink is successful. I'm imagining an, an uncontested yoink. Yep. Yep. Does uh, she but, put it on? Uh, she does. She kind of like awesome. dances around a little bit with it. Uh, what awesome. is what is Lindsay's performance? I'll start clapping when she's dancing. I feel like making her better at what she does is only going to make us better. Uh, Lindsay's performance is, is astoundingly good. She is very nimble and obviously quite well trained. Oh, oh it's beautiful. I know. To the I, right person. I had it on secret roll, but she rolled a thirty-three on her performance. Oh, oh my shit. Oh, shit. oh God! God. <laughs> I think I'm just standing. I don't clap. I'm just standing there watching this. Like what? It's like now give it a flourish. I think, and my jaw comes up at the end. Like there was a thirty-three. Yeah. She'll like do a little, uh, kind of a little curtsy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like okay. I'm gonna go and uh, write some more stories that I can tell people. Uh, Lindsay, before you uh, go, uh huh, you're you're from Phoenix, yeah, uh huh. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not choosing. Um, who's in charge over there? Uh, King Irovetti. Do you, do you know him well, or? Mm, not necessarily. I wouldn't say I know him. I know of him. Right. So if if I would like to have a conversation with him, could could you arrange that? Mm, I don't think that's a good idea. He is. Uh, Why? He's just. He's not a friendly sort of person, and uh, honestly, um, that's their whole thing, right? They're basically like fighting everybody. Yeah. Uh, Patax, Patax are, yeah, the King Irovetti is, uh, does have kind of an expansionistic policy and has, Patax has frequently gone to war with, uh, Brevoy over these lands that you guys are controlling. Extremely I think we have a motive. I, I, I would very much like to talk to this particular individual. I don't, I don't think that's going to go well. Uh, I would, I would, uh... 
no, no offense, and and I mean this with uh, no ill will, but you really, you've only been running a kingdom for like a year, and he's been king for a long time, and he is much more experienced than you are. Mm -hmm. Consider us upstarts. I would hate for you to be thrown into his prison and locked away, and the key thrown away. Because you seem like nice people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think the king might be a long-term issue. Something for when we're more I established. I agree. Mm -hmm. But that conversation has to happen at some point, right? Eventually, mm -hmm. it will. He's he's tricksy. You want to know what you're doing. Um, what's the expression? Don't borrow trouble from tomorrow. I will, I will gladly pay you for a cheeseburger tomorrow, which I'll accept today. Yeah, same same kind of same kind of thing. Yeah. Fair. Irregardless, he knows we're here. Oh yeah, there's so no doubt. At some yeah, point, we're I, gonna have to talk to him. Oh yeah, absolutely. somebody but... sent a minion to to try and to try and undermine us. Well, unless, um, unless, like yeah. Lindsay said, Father, it's not the king that sent him, and it's, you know, the Could ninth guild, the guild down. Could it's either that he's working against him. It's either that or the guy smelled an opportunity for himself, right? So he, he saw like all this activity happening out here and decided to get in on yeah. it. Yeah. So if you're lucky, it's not the bandit houses that are involved. Although it might be the bandit houses, but it could also be like one of the like more honest traders that is wondering what you're going to do or it could be the church because they uh they are not fans of abadar um mm -hmm. uh and the church of calestria is pretty well set up there and the church of desna arrived about a year uh, a couple of years before i left so they're not really well established yet um but yeah, there's a. It could be the Red Crescent. No, it wouldn't be the Red Crescent troop. This is a, outside of their thing, and really, they're just they're just like performers. They're not they're not spies. Although I suppose it could be spies performing to be performers, because that would be cool. Um, keep keep after it, Lindsay, and let us know if you hear something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you should check and see if he has any tattoos. Maybe the tattoos would uh, indicate what guild house he's associated with, because some of them get tattooed. Uh, but I suppose if he's a spy, he wouldn't be tattooed, because that would give things away if somebody saw him. Or he would be tattooed with a different guild's tattoo. If he were to have well, a tattoo, where would it likely be? I don't know. I don't have any. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's an assassin tattoo. It's not anywhere obvious. So. It's on the inside of the lip. Hmm. Even if you can see it plainly, it won't be obvious. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. Actually, oh. Lindsay, uh, yeah. while we've been gone, um, we left shortly after our our encounter with him in the square has he been keeping up his same schedule oh yes he prattles on prattles on i've been i've been telling people not to listen and i think some people are beginning to think that maybe he's just full of hot wind uh but um yeah he does like to talk and he's good at it like he's he's definitely trained i think he might maybe he went to the academy i mean he's older than me so he wouldn't have been in my class but that's the sort of people that the academy turns out and she gets a kind of like far away look in her face. Which academy? Oh, uh, the uh, academy performance in uh, in Patax. In Patax. Oh yes. Okay. Um, I don't actually think I've ever been to the academy performance. You're not missing anything. Sounds like it. Yeah, they're they're jerks, right? Right, Lindsay? They are. They are very big jerks. Yeah. If and if you ever from, are interested, from what we've seen from this guy, definitely a jerk. So, um, I mean, we've you know got you busy here doing things, but if you ever want to pursue further education, I can write you a letter of recommendation for the Kithridonian Academy. That would be amazing. Well, I'll um, first, I guess I need to you know keep writing to Grigori. Um, once that's said and done, I can I can see if I can reach out to people for you. Uh -huh. And I can teach you things too. I know things. Oh yeah. Wait, are you, you're not a spellcaster. I most certainly am. Oh. Ish. Ish. Oh, somewhat. I Maybe. can call upon knowledge from extra planar libraries. Mm, cool. I can do that too. It's a handy one. 
I can teach you how good of a spellcaster are you? Uh, definitely better with uh, language and, and you know, teaching uh, than I am with the arcane uh, and the occult. But I can, I can hold my own. Okay, well, come to me when you're ready to learn things and I'll teach you. This will be mutually beneficial, I'm sure. Uh, and then she will, uh, she will head out, and I think we will probably call it there. But whoever's tracking them, sure. uh, I made some rolls. You guys have four more support points in your uh, fight against uh, Grigori because of Lindsay's work. Oh, it brings oh. us to five. Perfect. Sweet. Good job. Now Lindsay will start putting on dance performances and make us even more popular. Perfect. Uh, and... Uh, XP wise, uh, oh, incidentally, uh, Lindsay is able to teach anybody with the occult or primal tradition who can cast first level spells the ink shot spell. It's a specialized spell that she has. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I can definitely cast first level occult spells. It's a spray of viscous toxic ink jets from your fingertip to strike a target creature in the face, make a spell attack roll against the target on a hit, 2d6 poison damage. Uh, plus the creature is dazzled for one round. On a critical hit, the damage is doubled and the creature is dazzled for one minute. The ink stain remains for an hour before fading. Um, nice. Actually, um, I'll ask whenever we have time if Lindsay could help me make some scrolls. She can. She will definitely help with scroll making. Alright, well, uh, I suggest we get this guy taken care of as soon as possible. Next order of business. For sure. Right. Uh, just All right. All right, Flower, get the gallows. Let's keep that as a as a solid plan B. Uh, Learning a spell that just adds it to the list of what I can choose. Yes. Okay. Uh, unless you're a spontaneous caster, in which case you only have so many spells, and you have to like get rid of one you do know to pick up the new one. I believe. Right now, I, I prepare. Uh, so three twenty. Gotcha. All right. So that is uh, plus you actually completed two quests. Uh, so three twenty three fifty. Three hundred and eighty XP. Hey. Oh, that's a level. Is it? Yep. Uh, Are we level up? Should bring you up to level five. Awesome. Yeah, I got, I've got uh, 792. That's where I started That's before this 392. 3-8. Plus 38. Okay. The um the mistletoe says you can twine it around your wrist. Can I wear it as a bracelet? Absolutely. Perfect. So Was we're going to be level, We're going to be level 5 and we're going to have 172 left over. Yep. Oh, um, I, I I went to level five, and I was asking me to select a second implement. Uh, so yeah, so level five, uh, everybody gets attribute boosts. So you get uh, four attribute boosts to spread amongst your attributes. Uh, anything you can bring it uh, something up to an eighteen, but if it's already at an eighteen, it goes to a nineteen. Or with the new system, it goes up to like a like half a boost, so you don't get the bonus right away. Uh, but you get four of those. Is it four? What's our new total? Uh, the new total would be level five and 172 XP. Uh, you also get to choose a new ancestry feats. Uh, I think some people get new uh, get skill increases. Third level spells. Third level spells. Uh, Moot Point gets to add two more spells to a spell book. Uh -huh. uh, Flower picks up uh, a brutality. Yeah. So, which means your proficiency for your weapons goes up to expert, so it'll be an additional plus two to hit. Uh -huh. uh, and then while raging, you get access to the critical specialization effect for melee weapons. Uh, so, I think your clubs. Critical specialization is like a free shove. Like you can hit somebody so hard that you shove them back and you get to step forward to stay with them. Yeah. Uh, Ancestry feet. Yep. Oh, I really like my, the Ancestry feet 
for this level. It's a theoretical acumen. I can use a recall knowledge check as a defense or attack check against a creature once per day, basically. Oh, you don't want to be able to talk to animals? We already have someone that's the nature guy. I do. I want to. I can't yet. I just I love the fact that it lets you use uh, diplomacy skill to to, uh, to communicate with animals instead of animal handling. Yeah, very cool. Uh, oh, does it? Uh, yeah. If you've got, uh, I can't remember what it's called for, but for for uh, gnomes, they have uh, something so they can talk to animals with the burrow speed, and then they have a further one that lets them talk to all animals. Gotcha. Yeah, when I was looking at ranger races, actually gnome was one of the ones they yeah. said was really good for rangers. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, so I can, okay. I can now protect people within fifteen feet of me. Oh, you got the uh, amulet. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, so uh, you guys can figure out what all you want to do. You have access to your character sheet, so you can pull in the things that you need. Uh, do your trivia boost, all of that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see everybody in a couple weeks. All righty, thanks, Chris, as um, always. Oh, yeah. uh, we can't take a we can't take care of Gregory today. <laughs> um, no, because it's like it depends. You guys need to decide how you want to handle him. If you want to handle right. him via via skill challenge, or whether you just want to like black bag him, that's a that's a decision to make. Both are viable options. Well, I figure we try the the skill challenge, and if it doesn't go well, yeah. Um, okay, what was... If you guys want to just kind of like do the skill challenge rolls, we can certainly do that. Uh, basically, everybody can make one roll a day. It'll take a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Perfect. Yeah, I I would definitely like to to you know debate with him in the square some more, uh, and unfortunately won't be here next week or next okay. session. Perfect. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's yeah. let's wrap it up now if we can. All right. Um, so maybe what we'll do, because i got to get some supper started, is um, oh, okay. we'll, we'll do like the dice rolls, and then you guys can kind of like write up the role playing around it, and we can like do that aspect of things next game where you guys already know what roles went well, what roles went badly. And so we'll do the story part of it next time, but we'll do the die rolls now so everybody knows. Sure. And then you guys will know how long it takes. Sound like a plan? Sure. Yeah. yeah perfect yeah all right uh so currently you guys have a total of five support points thanks to uh thanks to Lindsay. yep uh the roles that can be used are diplomacy deception and intimidation uh and these are basically like you're not intimidating him you're inti intimidating the townspeople not to listen to him <laughs> Uh, but because you have five support points, uh, any other attempts that use, uh, in this case, diplomacy, because that's what Lindsay used, gets a plus two status bonus. Sweet. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and players, like each character can try once per day. Yeah, I'll, I'll debate them every day in the, in the town center. And I'll just talk talk down about them about everybody I meet and use a diplomacy role for that if that's all right perfect all right uh, go ahead and roll it up go ahead and roll it okay oh I'm gonna hero point that if that's all right sure I hear a point in mine and got one better. Oh. That's the same. Right. And I guess our uh, moot point or snow maple or flower doing anything on the first day to uh. deal with the situation. Is it just diplomacy or is it other Di things? Diplomacy, deception, or intimidation. Right. 
That's a straight up skill roll. Straight up skill roll. If you use diplomacy, you get a plus two bonus because of Lindsay. All right. Oh, mine's a twenty. Is it possible to use something like the tax lore? Uh, no. Okay. I guess I'll use diplomacy because I got nothing. Okay. Uh, add plus two to that. So right now it says plus one because of circumstance. Add another two. Yep. No, that, that did not add my bonuses, so it's right. plus three to that. Alright. Because I don't think Mootpint has any diplomacy. Oh, he does not. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anything that could have helped you. No diplomacy Funny. and uh, no charisma. Yeah, crazy half. Right? <laughs> and no oh. surprise. Okay. Oh, oh nice. snow maple. Oh, there, there's snow. S yep, yep. Snow Maple comes through. Uh, Mootpind, however, critically fails. <gasps> oh no. Reroll if you can. Uh, I might be able to. Oh, 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 oh Moot there you go. Critical success. Nice. Okay. So. Um, the first day, uh, you guys make very little headway until Snow Maple's like, no wait, and starts basically spreading some underhanded rumors about, uh, about Grigori. Um, yeah, like, uh, he says he's a traveler. He's, he should be traveling on. Basically, you know? deception, here to help yeah, you. deception indicates, uh, basically like slandering him or kind of redirecting his efforts. So they backfire on him, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, which sounds like Snow Maple's thing. Yeah, totally. Uh, gets a gets a success, so it generates uh, a point. Uh, and then Moot Pint, of all people, uh, perhaps guided by that internal voice, um, comes through with a kind of a rousing speech about like the necessity of people to like kind of pull together and you know, kind of gestures around to like you know the halflings, the gnomes, the elves, you know. We we can you know working together kind of like the whole working together sort of thing. But critical success generates two uh, two points. Little people together. And the next person, so it'd be the next day. Um, gets a plus two circumstance bonus. So the bonus from Lindsay is a status bonus. The bonus from Moot Points critical is a circumstance bonus. So they stack. It's Croft, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll keep going in the in the center. Okay. Uh, so it's plus two circumstance, plus two status. Yep. Oof. Oh, Prof. Oh shit. Fuck you. Get the hell out. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Um, so, uh, the professor gets up there and basically, you know, like if you picture it like a, like a rap battle, just like, you know, does the like mic dropping sort of thing. So that can play into the story for next time. Um, it is enough. You guys are at the point uh, where his... Um, his support is pretty eroded. You could, in fact, have him arrested at this point, but it is slightly premature. Uh, so basically, at this point, you can safely have him arrested and put on trial or drive him out of town, but it is going to cause some unrest and some strife. Or you can keep going if you think that you can get to the point where you can safely have him removed. It's up to you guys. My vote is for the safe removal. Yeah, let's let's let's. Yeah, we, for sure. We've got a good uh, train going here. Let's see if we can take it the rest of the way. Okay. Uh, so on day two, aside from the professor's amazing speech, is anybody else working the crowds? I'm gonna um, stay away from it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm going to try for diplomacy. I'll go again with diplomacy. All right. 
So yeah, so plus, I mean, plus two status bonus well, on diplomacy, right? yeah. Right, I'll put the plus two on it there now. Because there's no active encounter. Uh, you may have to, like, roll for Just roll sheet. off the sheet. Yeah. Damn it, that green dice got in my way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to talk a lot, do you? Don't be afraid to throw a hero point if you got one. I'm throwing a hero point. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Things do not go quite as well for everybody, uh, but Flower has a, has a way with people, apparently. 20 doesn't get it done, Chris? Uh, no, nope. the, D the DC is 24. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, I am willing to spend my hero point on it. Yeah, you do have yeah, a plus 12, so... Might as well spend it. I now have a plus 10 to intimidation. Yeah. And diplomacy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, people aren't really, people are kind of like starting to treat like your attempt to bring up scandal on him as like yesterday's news sort of thing. They, they realize All that right. things are, things are not looking good for him and then he's starting to lose support anyway. So at a certain point they're like, don't kick the man when he's down. Perfect time to kick him. Right. I was going to say that's the best time. Uh, day three, people can make their rolls. All right. Yep. Still with the plus two on diplomacy? Uh, yes, Lindsay's bonus lasts as long as your uh, DC, uh, your support points are more than five. Gotcha. Jesus, Professor. Hey, Ooh. I got over 24 this time. <laughs> yeah. Good job, guys. Look, yeah. look. look. Dealing with people one on one is a little stressful for the professor. Standing on a stage and speaking to a crowd, that's just another day at the office. Yeah, All right, it. fuck you. So he's that's gonna a, say, Oh, hall yeah. too. So so, say, the father was about to bring Avadar back into it, but I think like someone nudged him. It's like, hey. <laughs> Lay off the religion. Uh, so that's a critical from Father, but that's also a critical from the Professor because uh, 10 higher than the DC. Right. So two criticals and a regular, and two regular successes. Mm -hmm. That's got to put the nail in the coffin. Um, Hopefully. So, so yes, by the time, uh, you know, like three or four days of you guys really working the crowd and Lindsay, Lindsay helping kind of helping you polish up your speeches and, you know, this is the sort of thing they respond to, this is the sort of thing they don't respond to. Uh, you guys are at the point where you can safely uh, either arrest Gregory and put him on trial uh, or simply have him like run out of town. I think exile is the way to go. Yeah. Oh, no, we're my, arresting him. My vote is for running him out of town. I, really? If yep, we're taking a been, vote, uh, he, I vote to run him out of town with the, you know, make sure that he knows he's not welcome back. Yeah, he's been discredited. Uh, so I, I'm voting Gallows. I I vote sure. prison, but not gallows. Well, What's we his crime we besides mouthing prison. off? Yeah. So we got we got two for shipping him off. We got two for prison. What's his crime besides mouthing off? Nothing. Yeah, Sedition. then I vote exile. His, his, I, yeah. I just think he's probably a spy Detective from a neighboring revolution. nation. He's, he's not a citizen. Uh, sedition's not a thing. He didn't yeah. stab anybody, so I'm like, yeah. go for it. His, like, his crime is literally whatever you say it is, because the people mm -hmm. at this point are done with him. Right. And that's my point. The people are done with him. He's no longer a threat. If we I mean, you uh, can hang him for jaywalking if you want to, but... Yeah, if we punish I, this guy, I really, do, I really want to. Does my voice have an opinion? Ever, everybody gets a vote. Hmm? Does um, my voice have an opinion? Uh, your internal voice... Uh, it doesn't get its own vote. I just want to be no. clear. No, no, the voice <laughs> oh, doesn't. No. That one doesn't. No. Yeah, no. The the inside voice uh, says that you should let him go because it would be fun. Oh no! Oh, I say uh, I say trial then. <laughs> I vote trial. Right. 
So that's uh, how many people for trial? I think that's three on trial now. Because okay. the professor said trial, uh, father obviously, well, father wants to gallows the crap out of him, but, and there's a moot point. So if, uh, Flower might be able to tie this up again. Are we, Flower, Flower has split? already said straight up exile. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh. What All about right, Sprig? We're still, we're still split. <laughs> Sprig or Lindsay? So three yeah, by what's three? Lindsay what's Lindsay say? Uh, Lindsay's a tiebreaker now. Well, we've got Lindsay and... Um, and Valerie's here, too. Valerie as well in town. Uh, Valerie Lindsay's, is... one that, Lindsay's the one that's been dealing with this day-to-day. -day. What's her opinion? Uh, and actually, Lindsay's from Pitax, so that's going to be... Uh, Lindsay thinks putting him on trial sends a message. Exiling him just lets him do it again. All right. That's kind of how... And Val oh. Valerie agrees. Sure. Yeah, we All don't right. have to We don't have to kill him on a trial or anything. We trial can... time. I mean, that's part of our narrative, right? Yep. Uh, so, yeah, so we may as well actually do the legal lore check as well. Uh, it does take a week to have the trial, just so everybody's aware. So, basically, you've had, like, three or four days uh, of uh, counter-propaganda and then a week for the trial. Ugh. Uh oh, can we use any of that for downtime or um, there there will be some downtime because you guys aren't taking part in the trial. Cool. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, put word out to my criminal connections to see if I can find uh, a buyer for our uh, museum pieces. OK. Oh. Right, because we have those historical swords and shields. Right, but weren't we going to make a museum ourselves? I mean, we've, them... we've got we've got five sets of them. We don't need five sets of them. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. If we keep some, I'm just yeah. saying, like it would give us a bonus if we put. We'll it keep in the a, nicest ones for us. Museum but... or something. Yeah. But yeah, this one's only a hundred years old. All right. Uh, so, um, Father Liam, uh, assuming it's an actual fair trial. Oh, 100%. Uh, the jury is unable to come to a verdict. Um, you can keep him in prison, and it now becomes a leadership activity you can do during the kingdom turn to put him on trial again. But right now, you are currently keeping him in prison. Which is, at this place, like a locked room in the town hall since you guys don't have a jail. Right. Uh, but yes, uh, the, first, uh, the first trial after a week ends in like a hung jury sort of thing. Who knew that a prison would be such a priority right away? Now you know why they have them. They don't just have them for, like, PCs. Mm -hmm. um, I assume we, like, stripped him of his possessions. Did he have anything interesting? Uh, he had, like, some... He had some coins and uh, uh, rapier. Anything hidden in his uh, little uh, hiding spots? Uh, a note from, uh, from Stone Maple. Yeah, That's I meant true. besides There's that. I'm, I'm gonna fucking kill you. We see you. Was, it, it was be seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly fine, a ambiguous message. Yeah. Um, Ramp up the paranoia. But I assume we can do like a like a magic scan. Uh, yes, his rapier is magical. Cool. We'll be needing it. Uh, yes, his, his rapier is magical. It's the only magical thing that he has. Although technically it is, uh, it is recorded into uh, personal belongings should he be found innocent yes. and released. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, this, this guy needs an actual trial, right? So. Sure. Uh, okay. Law of a good judge. Is gonna make you, sure he you, gets a you you justice the heck out of him until you're done, I guess. Yeah, and, and while we do that, flower, you could make the gallows, and we'll. Uh, judge I'm not it making up. shit until he's deemed guilty or not. Well, maybe maybe the prison. Uh, maybe we can get started on that. Let's do no, a prison no. first. Think about it though. You either do it now or you do it later. At some point, the hall is gonna have somebody in the gallows, so you might well, as well. Do it when we're ready for it. It just you looks might as well. It just looks imposing to our to our citizens right at the moment. Well, it makes it seem feel, like we've already dis, like decided. I feel like Father uh, Hall is, is law. I feel like Father Hall is gonna wanna 
gallows that he could just deploy. Like, yep. boom, it's in gallows. They're going to need to get used to it. Um, but between the... We need, uh, we, need a, we need a gallows feather token. <laughs> we do. We do. Yeah. There's actually... Um, well, there's a tree. Um, and uh, just so folks are aware, at a certain point you can actually research how to make the feather tokens into arrows. Uh, so you can like be like, I need a tree on the battlefield there, and then you fire the arrow and a tree erupts. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's also what good happens for, if you hit... Uh, if you Sorry. hit somebody, they get shunted aside. Uh, boo. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's not a small thing. Uh, Might be good for earth elementals. Uh, and it's really handy, like in a, in a siege, you can like have like ladder feather tokens to to place like your siege ladders and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but full on siege tower feather. Yeah. Uh, at the uh, by the time the trial is done, it is the end of the month, uh, which means uh, uh, somebody can roll me a d twenty. I don't want to. Not it. That didn't work. There we go. Uh, almost a 16. I forget if higher or low is good on, the D on this D12. Uh, it's high. It's to see if there is a kingdom event. Oh. Uh, so, uh, at the end of the turn, uh, there is two kingdom events. Uh, well, one kingdom event is uh, the trial. If you guys want to continue to put uh, Grigori on trial, if you're just like, no, we've had a trial, now we're just going to keep him locked away for the rest of our lives. Trial. No. Yeah, no, we're going to try him. Okay. I feel like Hull wouldn't allow that to happen. My, my vote is to try. Yeah. Much Agreed. as Hull wants to hang him. Sure. I mean, the legal thing is... A bit of our shick, right? Or at least yeah. Paul's shick. Yeah, because Moot Pie's completely ambivalent to all of that. Pretty much the same here, too, yeah. What's the other event? Uh, the other event is how well the uh, the Tatzelford um, village goes. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. So are we going to do a kingdom term before next session? Uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, like, the actual, like, plotting of, like, what you want to claim, what you want to build, all that stuff. We'll do that via Discord as per usual. That's good. Great, great. Uh, oh, it's a big turn. I mean, and we've been doing, like, downtime as normal? Like... Uh, yeah, you guys will have some, uh, some downtime. Uh, we'll say probably, okay. uh, we'll say, like, a month of downtime. Perfect. Uh, because that way we'll probably do two, like, back-to-back -back kingdom turns. Uh, you know, you guys have settled down, you know, you're keeping your eye out for trolls and stuff, but we'll say, we'll say like an entire month of downtime. So we'll pick up, it'll be like well, early I think summer. That, I think that got, that got, uh, both of the like urgent action items off of our list. It did. Cause both of those, if they're still yeah. around when the kingdom turn happens, uh, cause problems. Right. Uh, I'm content with how this one went. Yeah. That's yeah. all that went well. In, more or less, yeah. All right, Agreed. a couple hiccups here and there, but in the end, like we did, we did what was best for all. Oh, I gotta go, guys. I'm sorry, but I have to drop. Yeah, off. no worries. No, I think we're no just worries. really yeah. just yeah. about uh, wrapped up here anyway. Yeah, I'm just trying to find where exactly that particular event is because I can't find it, and I don't know. I think it's a water event, maybe, to build up the settlement. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also going to head out here because I've had to pee for the past, like, hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Oh, no worries. So, no have a good one, guys. All right, have a good night, guys. And I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, all right. I'll find the event and I'll post it to the Discord. All right, sounds, sounds good. good. Sounds good. All right, yeah. Perfect. Good night. Thank you, Chris, as yeah. always. Have a good night, and don't forget to figure out your level 5 stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes, for sure. Exciting. I think I've got mine put in.